beautiful souls, welcome to it. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show, and it is your Thursday edition. Woo! The feelings are going to be magnifique because we have so much to celebrate this morning. First off, let us wish all our Muslim viewers Eid Mubarak, and we are wishing you and your families a blessed Eid filled with happiness, prosperity, and nothing but good health. I hope you get to create incredible memories today as you spend it with your family and everybody else out here in the studio is obviously already elated for this. But let me tell you, we've got an absolutely electrifying lineup for you for this morning. So I want you to get ready to channel your inner feel good. Do it with me now. Yeah, now first up, listen to this. We are diving into an adrenaline rush as we gear up for the much anticipated Two Oceans Marathon. It's happening this weekend. I hope you really laced up those sneakers and you can join us as we chat with some of the absolutely courageous firefighters who are not only participating, but also raising awareness for their noble cause. And rumor has it, we're gonna really be put to our uh, tests and our paces when these guys come through to show us just exactly what they're gonna be doing this weekend. It's inspiring to say the least. And then Speaking of heroes, we've got a blockbuster interview lined up with none other than JP Sebastian. He's going to be giving us the inside scoop on the latest. Ghostbusters, yeah, that's what's up. The movie that's been stirring up excitement in theaters pretty much everywhere. And that is not all because there is still a lot more. We're also going to be taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane as we explore the world of Ghostbuster games and who you going to call. Yeah, stay tuned to find out. On top of all of this magic, we're also heading into the kitchen. We're making loaded steak fries. And for all you music lovers out there, we've got a treat in store. Yeah, the one and only, the Tropic uh, guest Brendan Paper will be setting the stage on fire in Johannesburg, joined by the sensational Zanelli. So I want you, Mzanzi, to get ready to groove and move as we bring you the best of live entertainment right here in your living room. So stay comfortable, stay at home, and let me tell you, we are broadcasting from all over South Africa, from Cape Town to Joburg. We've got the beautiful, gorgeous Zanelle standing by, and we're hoping to find out what she's got in store for us. Zanelle, how are you doing this morning? Oh, my amazing, beautiful Raul, I am absolutely incredible especially after you just introduced me like that get out of here and your energy it's got me feeling good indeed and ready for the day and i know we're about to have an incredible one because of the menu that she just gave us friend but expresso family i hope you are super ready because we genuinely are getting you ready for the weekend it's five to it and it is about to be a beautiful one because as family when we start things off together ah oh, it's just perfect but i always say yes we like to see you on the television but then we also want to see you on the social media stream. So let's get to this good morning post, shall we? My lovely, this morning, we need you to go over and use hashtag Expresso Show and send through that voice note because we want to hear that morning voice, 063-408-8863. Let us know, all in the name of the Ghostbusters movie. We, as a family, are joining the Ghostbusters team. So I want you to go on social media and tag your squad, but then on top of that, you need to let us know. What is your ultimate ghost busting or rather ghost catching gadget? The one that you believe is gonna help you catch all of the ghosts, my babes. And there's many in South Africa, eh? I'm just saying. Let us know, hashtag Expresso Show, and also that voice note on 063-408-8863. Right about now, we are jumping back to Cape Town because the amazing Raoul is standing by with the news headlines. I'll stop with you with the compliments, I like it. But you can keep it coming for the next three hours. <laughs> Official duties must commence now. We will not leave you ghosted this morning for the next three hours. And first up, we have national headlines. Now, six men have been arrested in connection with the killing of SA footballer Luke Fleurs. Now, the 24-year-old Kaiser Chiefs star was shot dead in a carjacking at a petrol station in Johannesburg last week. Now, the police said the six suspects were arrested in Soweto. Now, they believe the suspects are part of a syndicate that's responsible for car hijackings in Gauteng. Now, investigators are still actively searching for more suspects, and Fluidus joined Kaiser Chiefs last year, having previously played for Super Sport United. Now, he represented South Africa at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. While well, sticking to national headlines, the National Commissioner of the Department of Correctional Services, Mahoti Tabokhale, has approved the permanent appointment of 1,003 learners as correctional officials. 
Now, the department says the move is a demonstration of the government's aim to provide opportunities for young people and support them to access work opportunities. Now, this means the youngsters who took part in the 12-month Correctional Services Learnership NQF Level 4 program, which took place in 2022 and were hired as auxiliary support officials on a contractual basis, and now have been offered permanent positions starting on the 1st of April 2024. While well, moving over to international headlines, and a sophisticated internet fraud syndicate has been uncovered in Zambia, leading to 77 arrests, including 22 Chinese nationals. Now, it was a significant breakthrough in the fight against cybercrime, and the authorities said after a multi-agency raid on a Chinese-run company. Now, the company employed Zambians who believed they were to be trained as call center agents. And among equipment seized were devices allowing callers to disguise their location and thousands of SIM cards. Now, the swoop was made on premises located in Roma, an upmarket suburb of Zambia's capital, Lusaka. Well, next up, water levels of rivers in Russia and Kazakhstan continue to rise and flood entire villages and cities, with more than 100,000 people evacuated. Now, the Kremlin has warned that a very, very intense situation is expected to worsen. Now, fast melting snow has caused rivers in Russia's southern Urals, western Siberia, as well as northern Kazakhstan to reach unprecedented heights, threatening major cities. Now, Moscow and Astana have been battling the rising rivers for more than five days, with both declaring a state of emergency and stating that the floods are the worst since 1947. Now, next up, an inspiring story. Ross Cook, the courageous ginger-haired Brit we previously reported on running the length of Africa, has achieved the unprecedented feat completing his journey across the continent. Now, he marked his triumph in Tunisia after a grueling 352-day journey spanning over 16,000 kilometers through 16 countries. Now, branded the hardest geezer, Cook's remarkable odyssey encountered myriad of challenges Challenges such as visas, hurdles and muggings, you've got sandstorms, health issues, yet he also raised some 50 million rand for various charities along the way. Now, starting in South Africa at Cape Agulhas and culminating with the celebratory uh, strawberry daiquiri in Tunisia, his journey was highlighted by solidarity on the final day as a group of inspired runners flew all the way from the UK to accompany him on the last 44 kilometers, sharing in this absolutely amazing feat. Well, these are amazing feats. Let's see what it comes to when it is a, a world of sport. And I'm hoping G-Man can share the latest and hopefully some inspiring stuff too. Thank you so much, Ryle. Welcome from my side, as well as dive into a bumper sporting lineup this morning. We start with some football. And Barcelona's head coach, Xavi Hernandez, praising his team's 3-2 away win against Paris Saint-Germain in their Champions League quarterfinal first tie last night, highlighting their ability to compete with Europe's best once again. Quite a mark of this one. Meanwhile, Atletico Madrid, they also secured a 2-1 victory over Borussia Dortmund, surviving a late onslaught. Rodrigo de Paul and Samuel Lino scoring four Atletico while well, Sebastian Haller he pulled one back for Dortmund and then exiting um, the stage of the competition I think all rounds so far have been amazing setting the scene for an incredible second leg now we turn to rugby and the Springboks Rugby World Cup trophy blitz tour will continue in George uh, that's this Sunday and that's the 14th of April Marnie Leboc and Marco van Staden will be taking the Weber Ellis Cup to the very picturesque Southern Cape and this tour is part of South Africa rugby's uh, initiative to take the Weber Ellis Cup around the country before it is returned to World Rugby in 2025. Let's see if we can do the whole stretch. And the visit to the Garden Route Mall will take place at the food court from 12, that's midday up until 1.30, followed by a visit to Otanikwa Park, and that one kicks off at 2.30 again on Sunday. Go and chat to the lads. I'm sure they'd love to connect with you. Now, of course, a big buzz around athletics at the moment because of the Olympics, and World Athletics has announced that it will award prize money to Olympic gold medalists at the Paris Games, making it the first
first international federation to do so. This is quite a bold move. Now, each gold medal winner in the 48 athletics events will receive a cool $50,000, with relay teams sharing the same amount among their members. This move by World Athletics reflects their commitment to empowering athletes and recognizing their crucial role in the success of the Olympic Games. And so much of their careers is funded by themselves, certainly on the way up to that Olympic level. So we love the sound of that. Now let's turn to golf and world number one ranked Scotty Scheffler and world number two Rory McIlroy will be playing partners in the first two rounds of the Masters Tournament at Augusta National. The stage is set already. They'll be joined by Xander Schoffel, the reigning Olympic champion. Then Scheffler, he has been in excellent form this year, boating really well with wins at the Players' Championship and Arnold Palmer Championship. He has the opportunity to join Tiger Woods as the only players to win the Masters twice while ranked at number one in the world. And the Masters gets underway today up until Sunday, the 14th of April. I think it's going to be a special one. So we'll certainly watch that space, but that's where we leave our sporting highlights for now. Um, it is a brand new day, so let's get the weather in and see what we have in store for you today. Thank you so much, G-Man. And reporting on all things weather this morning now, Johannesburg Emergency Management Services is urging residents in the city to continue to remain cautious after heavy rain was experienced in Gauteng this week. Now, EMS spokesperson Robert Mulaudzi says the water level in some rivers and streams are still high. Now, this is part of Gauteng having experienced and expected flooding after heavy rainfall hit the province. Now, the downpours, which began at the weekend, inundated several low-lying areas and caused localized flooding. Now, roads were submerged and traffic came to a standstill in many areas. Now, meanwhile, the SA Weather Service has issued only one warning for today. Now, disruption of beachfront and port activities also expected along the KwaZulu-Natal coast, and this due to wind and large waves. Well, from our weather news, we remind you and encourage you to send through your morning views to us on our number 0634088863. We absolutely love sharing and showcasing some of the magic that we have around the country. And hey, maybe you're across the globe somewhere and you've got a sunrise view today to share with us, then bring it on. For now, though, uh, we're going to dive into those temperatures that you can expect on your side of town. better this morning on the weather front but please lots of damage done with the heavy rains across the land so please just to reiterate those weather warnings be careful today take every ounce of care that you can and in fact if you can rather stay indoors for the next three hours at least we've got you covered we're gonna have a whole lot of fun we are doing some ghostbusters exploration yes we are going to be busting the ghosts today we're going to be getting into a little bit of techie fun behind the franchise that i think has gripped now three nearly four generations because it's just so amazing and then we're going to have the opportunity to meet uh, Brendan Paper once again catch up with him on his incredible year see how he's been doing up in Johannesburg and then of course there's that gorgeous man look at that face man yeah and he's looking buff you would swear he was doing another um, season of um, the Island of Treasure maybe but no he's not on this year's lineup uh, but Zanil is going to have a whole lot of fun catching up with him and finding out how 2024 has been so far then we're going to get you inspired if you're running the two oceans we're going to introduce you to a couple of gents who are doing it to represent the firefighters of South Africa they are amazing they are purpose driven and we'll connect you to them on the other side of this oh, you can make
It's my feel good breakfast show. It should be illegal to feel this good so early in the morning, honey. And it is because we're together with you, Expresso family. We still got so much to do on the show. But first and foremost, let's meet the man who is going to be entertaining us this morning. I am talking about Brendan Paper. He is indeed a South African Music Awards nominated artist. And he's also someone who's celebrating 10 years in the game. And he's doing so by having released his ever anticipated EP, Omdat Ye Mach. And honestly and truly, my friend, you already know that it is hit after hit on it. Because because after 24 hours, all the songs on the EP were on the Apple Music Afrikaans Top 10. Can you imagine? He is in the building to celebrate with us. Everybody, please welcome Brendan Paper. <laughs> Brendan, how are you? Good morning. You're going to make me blush. Oh, I, it's, I, all I said was facts, <laughs> sir. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. And you? I'm good, thank you. I mean, of course you're good. You know, you're doing <laughs> the things that need to be done. And of course, 10 years in the game. I need to ask you, at what age did you start music and how has the journey been for you so far? So I started music when I was five. My sure. granddad bought me my first guitar Aww. and I started then. Yes. Um, so everything just, one thing led to another. And when I, when I, um, but I my own out fear. Yes. So I sat by the school um, competition and like uh, talent competition. I sing in front of the whole school. And, Are you serious? Yeah, and people started recognizing maybe he's got a voice. I don't know. Oh. Is he on key? I don't know. Yes. And that was enough for me just to take it further. That's incredible. And I'm so glad you did because imagine now we didn't have Brendan Paper in the Afrikaans music scene. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. <laughs> but speaking of that, yeah. you obviously are somebody who has broken into it and you're doing so incredibly well. So Thank congratulations you. on that. But, yeah. you know, it is also something that's a little bit difficult to break into. Speak to us about Definitely. that, you know? Yeah, it's hard work. Mm. I mean, I was, I was seen by, by um, scouts of Sony, Sony oh, yeah. Music, and they gave me a, a record deal in, in my matric year. And I signed that, what? I came back home, and my dad was like 50% disappointed because I didn't have a matric <laughs> certificate yet. Wait, so, Brendan, you signed without your parents' knowledge? Yeah. Hi, Brendan. So my dad said, listen, <laughs> it's matric certificate first, and then we can sign stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Brendan, yeah, you're by your stoke, eh? I was stoked. Yeah, I, I, I'm I kind of be glad. Yeah. I'm very glad. I'm, I, I love love on the edge, always. I mean, it, it, it's paying off. <laughs> yeah. The more the risk, the better the payoff. Yeah. And this is the thing. With you, I feel like you are someone who likes to explore, and you do a lot of different things. Wow. And recently, you sold out two shows at Steakinical, where people came just for you. What did this mean to you? Yo, it meant a lot because the whole concept of the show is what makes it mean a lot. You know, mm. um, it's basically me telling my story. Sure. My parents, um, I'm very privileged to have the footage and stuff they took from when we were children. And Aww. I started my music stuff. And Yay. I was still jamming in front of my speakers at home, you know, when I was a little boy. So yeah. we have all that footage. And I just wanted to share that with my fans and my fan base. I love that. And they pitched up. We wanted to do one one gig. Yeah. And we wanted to sell that out, and that sold out in the first day. Yo. And then we decided on the second one. Brendan, why do you sound surprised? Like, you know, <laughs> you've got fans. <laughs> yeah, but look, it was the, in, the intense... The intensity of the fans there mm. uh, was, was on the next level. And oh. the vibe was just, yeah. I just want to go back. I mean, after 10 years, you deserve it, okay? Thank you. And also, of course, like I said, you are celebrating with your EP, Om Dat Ye Mach. Yeah. Speak to us about that one. You know, what did you end up, you know, feeling when you kind of made it, and especially at such a huge milestone, but yeah. also what did you want to give the fans? So this is a very special album for me because it's the first one that I, I'm the only one, the writer on the album. Oh, so wow. I'm, I'm the only one left. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and that that was quite kind of special to me because in the in the beginning there was a lot of influence and and, and guys helping me out at the record label yeah um, just to get it more commercial to get it more in in my vibe just to get it in the sweet spot oh. and now we found the sweet spot and I can write my own music on my own oh look at you and people people can just like uh, relate with it yeah that's all that matters. I love that. And that's what it's about. It's about relating. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So then let's talk about Madeleine. <laughs> Talk to us about that song. It's just the, the connotasi. Um. Not going anywhere. You're staying exactly where you are. And Expresso family, this king right here, he is someone that we absolutely love. And that is why we had to bring him just for you because it is all about celebrating his EP as well as just enjoying his music all the way through today on Expresso. But before we get into anything else, here's Graham with a whole lot more on your Feel Good Breakfast show.
Yep, cannot wait for that performance from Brendan a little bit later in the show. He is phenomenal. And I think he would might maybe have the physical chops to take on this next challenge because it's special. It's a little bit crazy, in fact. When our brave firefighters aren't tirelessly fighting fires in and around Cape Town, literally risking their lives, they are busy accomplishing just remarkable things. We see this every day. And in a display of their unwavering dedication and their craziness, the firefighters from the city of Cape Town, fire and rescue rescue services along with the volunteer wildfire, wildfire services this beautiful family around us have embarked on a truly extraordinary mission of running the two oceans half marathon to raise funds for vws now their ambition is to reach 400,000 rand which sounds like no mean feat and what makes their endeavor even more awe-inspiring is the fact that they will be running the marathon while donning their full firefighting gear. If you've ever put it on, you will understand. And joining us in studio this morning is Jermaine Carlsa, the divisional commander and spokesperson for the city of Cape Town Fire and Rescue Services, the craziest, craziest of the lot. Then we've got Ronaldo <laughs> Duncan, city of Cape Town firefighter from Sir Lowry's Pass. We've seen a lot of that lately in the news. Uh, then we've got uh, Liam Gannon, volunteer wildfire services firefighter. So he had an excuse to jump out and he's still here. <laughs> and then Steve Ackerster, the volunteer wildfire services firefighter who looks so tired you might not even know why you're here this morning, but you're, running, you're running a half marathon my friend <laughs> um, no you guys look on it as you always do you look happy and inspired and in your space to be doing the kind of work that you you do especially now with the craziness of weather of what has happened over fire season which now seems to last the entire year pretty much um i'm gonna start with you jermaine are you in fact crazy what keeps you coming back for more because you've done this before yes i think this is the third time with uh, obviously with the gear now but we had to the, the the first installment last year was just the phenoma fire gear with the helmet on a warm-up yeah that was a warm-up now the sequel <laughs> i think it's uh, it's gonna be even better but i think we we are the, the public should should know that we're doing this for VWS. And I said yesterday, um, to donate is as, is, is as easy as just updating your WhatsApp status. Really? You go into VWS's website, you navigate quickly, get onto the donation button, and then there you click. There That's you all click. That, that you have to do at the end of the day. That's why you're the spokesperson. <laughs> it's, and it does, it's as simple as that. You can connect the dots in a very powerful way. Mm. It sounds great in the notion. It's wonderful to talk about these things and pat each <laughs> other on the back and look in the mirror and go, wow, I'm doing this. Then you've got to run a half marathon in your firefighting gear. How do you prepare for something <laughs> like this, Ronaldo? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> mentally, I suppose, yeah. 100%. I think that's the first thing that you need to get yourself mentally um, right for this. Um, last year, especially when we did it, I uh, started off very fast. And Jermaine kept on to Ronaldo slow down because you get hyped <laughs> by the crowd. <laughs> And um, so mentally, definitely need to prepare it for correctly. Physically, I am an active firefighter, unlike Mr. Carl's here, uh, <laughs> operational. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I think I have a similar role here in this particular team, so I get it, buddy. Don't worry. So yes, um, so I'm operationally fit, so that counted in my favour. It counts, still counts in my favour. But for this, I think Ms. Carlson mentioned it last week is the most that we've ever trained for any event because Brilliant. the normal, the gear that you will see later on. We use about 20 minutes uh, at an incident, and then we get a relief from that. Now we can use probably 10 times longer than we normally do. So we had to strengthen our cores, our back, our legs, just to handle that. But I picked up about four kilos just preparing for this. So. Of, of confidence. And confidence, wow. I probably load Four more. kilograms <laughs> of, of fortitude. Amen, uh, amen. No, I, I've, I've done the gear, the full gear, and I've done the final little test that, mm. that you, you guys amen, have bro. to do in that, and it's... It's humbling, to say the least. I'll leave it there. It was one of the most intense experiences. Liam, how you then know, yes, it's going to be tough, okay, but how do you prepare mentally for getting through something like this? Or is the fun you don't know how your body and your mind's going to react? How do you kind of put that in perspective? Well, I guess um, with what we do, there's kind of a beautiful misery in yes, um, suffering. I like that. And um, we find a lot of enjoyment in that. I think we're all adrenaline junkies. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is the kind of thing we search for and seek. Um, so it's pretty, pretty standard. It's, it's run of the mill for us. Um, I love it because this is what you do. This yeah. is what you do yeah, when, what when the call comes up. It doesn't matter if it's two in the morning. They say, come, we need you. You've got to do it because you're not doing this for yourself, are you, Steve? And Why are you so motivated 
to do this. It's a community service. You know, everybody's got to give back. I mean, you've got to bring back something to your community. I mean, when I've seen, you, you watch the firefighters out on the mountain, you see what they're giving, they're committing to it, and particularly, and that's all the firefighters. You, you, the guys are actually committing, um, they're risking their lives to a certain degree, but at the same time, they're putting a massive effort in, and that's for their community, it's nobody else. You know? well, for us, it's a community-driven service, yeah. It's an amazing thing to see play out around us because we obviously have a front row seat working in media in the Cape to see how real it gets, mm -hmm. how quickly it gets. So these are moments that kind of take the edge of that, but they are just as important. So once again, I want you to reiterate, what do you need from us? What kind of snacks do you guys like on roadside? <laughs> if someone's running, is it a banana, a boiled potato worked wonderfully for me? <laughs> uh, but what do you guys need at the heart of this? How can we support you? I think the only thing that, that the public there could do, just go on VWS's website, you navigate down quickly, there's a donate button. There are custom amounts, um, custom amounts that you can choose from and preset amounts so that all that they can do, the listeners uh, the, and the viewers out there, just go donate because well, we're, not do we're doing this for volunteer wildfire services. I love it. And, and this is where balance is brought back to the force, where people understand what you mean to them, what you mean to them, and what all of you mean to us, which is massive. It is just really, really awesome. All I need is for you to please put Ryle through a little bit of this right now because he is the fittest, strongest guy that I know. And if he can stand up and oh, he looks good, uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. But um, from, from our family to the rest of your family, thank you so much for putting yourselves out there. And just good luck, man. Absolutely thank you. Thank good you luck. Support, I, think, yeah. um, I think you're going to get a lot of support out there because you're going to be impossible to miss out on the road. Um, and that's what we love. I love the fact that the firefighters and those volunteers that step up so many times yes get to have a little bit of fun but all of us get to understand the level of commitment and yes sacrifice that comes with that job and get to pay a little bit of that back but right now that's all blah 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 i want to see raul get put through his paces <laughs> oh, oh look right. at him. i have donned on the gear yeah, just standing here right now is already tough. There's so much weight on me. This gear is so thick. And believe it or not, somehow we're going to try and attempt fitness with all of this gear on just to show you how much respect these firefighters deserve for doing what they're about to do this weekend. This is absolutely insane. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I'm going to need you to come through and wish me luck right now, Mzanzi, and hopefully we can put out this fire and this challenge. And uh, speaking of a challenge, we've got some great challenges coming up for you this morning. Obviously, this is going down, so you want to look forward to this. And then Grant Hines is into the building, so we've got a lot to chat to when it comes to the latest games, tech and crazes, and you don't need to go anywhere. This is going to be tough. All right, let's do this, people. I'm ready. Where's that fire at? It's my feel-good birthday show. Whew, 
All right, Amzanzi, welcome back. It is your feel-good breakfast show. Just in case you're wondering why does it look so crazy, but that's what we're all about because for this morning's fitness session, we're going to be joined by the extraordinary firefighters of Cape Town as they get ready to tackle the Two Oceans Half Marathon taking place this weekend. Now, standing alongside me is Jermaine Carlser, and he's going to be taking us through a fiery workout and also show us what they'll be carrying for 21 kilometers. We've also got uh, Liam on the other side over here. Yeah, so this is a big job, a big task. Jermaine, I'm struggling to just stand here right now, and I want to make sure everything that I'm wearing, is this what you're going to be wearing when you do this run? You're going to be wearing exactly what we're going to be wearing. This is about 16 kgs. I think you're missing a face mark, so that's just another five, so it's maybe 500 grams. So we're going to push it up to 17 k kilograms that you're going to be wearing on the day. And you can feel here, if you can, if you can look on the inside. Oh, sorry. Mic in the way. Oh, this is the inside of this. As you can see, oh, it's quite tuning. tough to get in here. Yeah, the tuning over here. So while you're sweating, it's all going to be sitting in here. So actually, you're going to get a little bit heavier as you go along. Okay, hectic. And uh, yeah, with the with, with bunker pants as well. So it will be uh, a monumental feat when we cross that line. I think that's the only time that we're going to be smiling. And I think a, a few choice words will be will be spoken to, especially Duncan, because he <laughs> he's the younger one, and he like last year he raced down after we got to Weinberg Hill, so I had to just reel him in again. Yeah, but but he had just, tears of joy when he finished the line last year. I'm just thinking right now, me standing in this thing, I'm sweating. The bag feels so uncomfortable. It's heavy to me. And I hike with like multi-day mm -hmm. packs on my back and still I'm thinking to myself, this is awkward. It's making me feel heavy. I can't see properly. The, the, the helmet alone <laughs> is throwing my weight off. Jumping and moving with this bag on my back is going to cause like constant damage on the lower back. Bro, this is crazy. And I have utmost respect for you, and I clearly can understand why you need to be able to do this, because in the situations you put yourself mm. in, you need to be literally ready for anything. And clearly that's why you train like this. So let's put us through the paces. Let's see if I can, someone that does train, that fancies himself to be a bit strong, let's see if I actually have what it takes to be no. fire fit <laughs> and fire strong, because I think that's a whole nother level. Yeah, not a bit strong. We've seen your videos. <laughs> We've seen your videos. Next year, you'll, you'll be donning this gear and running with us. Oh, it'll be an honor to join the team but let's go through some tests here and see how hard this really is what do you got for us so one of the things would be the two 25 kg zams this is when we normally do a uh, five, 50 meters up and a 50 meters down 50, about 50 meters up, so 100 in total and then obviously five sets of those um liam will demonstrate with a with a kettlebell there uh, your lunges and that this is all to do with uh, strengthening your core and obviously strengthening your legs and that over there is also with the ropes you that's about five sets you do about say 30 seconds of those Rest for 10 seconds and you get do another 30 seconds, also five sets. What's with you firefighters loving fires? If it's not out in the field, it's in your body when the muscles are burning. Wherever it is, you just like the heat, right? We love a challenge. <laughs> That's one thing, we love a challenge. All right, I'm going to go with the spirit of challenges and try to join you. Let's try and challenge oh. ourselves to this so workout. So important, obviously. Okay. You bend, you bend your knees, lift it up, and then just walk like this. Okay, it, it's looking easy now because I'm doing only about five five to ten meters. But that'll then, add up after and then, 100 yeah. meters, right? And, and you then, said five sets in yeah, total. Five sets of those. Can I take this for a spin, bro? So this is about five, 500 feel, meters that you have. I feel to. like I'm already carrying this with this back of my back. <laughs> okay, let's go. So watch the lower back. Up. Are these the same when you? Yes, that's the same. No, <laughs> definitely the same. Okay. All right, come on, we're live TV. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, there's some, there's some weight here for sure. Yo! But bro, I see what you mean about forcing the core to work right now. You really got to get your stability on. You got to get your, ooh, your foundation and uh, that is awkward. Oh man, Indeed. that's like 10 meters and you do oh. 100 of that times five. Definitely. Ah, uh, no, nah, I'd That's respect. Okay, I see you. What's next? What do you Liam got for us? Liam will so demonstrate that. strength is really important. Yeah. Uh, you're dragging hoses up and down a mountain, so you need to make sure that you've got your lunges. Um, because most of your power comes from your legs. Yeah. Uh, having big arms is only half the battle. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how you're using one weight because often in a real life environment, you don't get these perfect examples no. where you're lifting up a, a perfectly weighted bar or Correct. you're not pulling up something that's evenly distributed. So I love how you're forcing unilateral work here. That means that the core gets extra stimulus. 
definitely. You guys aren't exactly. just beautiful bodies and pretty faces, I see, eh? Wow. That's, That's more a than good compliment. <laughs> That's a good compliment. That's in writing. When it comes to exercising, how many reps, how many sets of these would you do? So how many reps or sets would you be doing? Jermaine, I mean, uh, you just go to the pins. That's another, that uh, that will be, we take it that, that up to about 10, 10 okay. sets. Can I, can I try this yes. out? I want to see, because everything in my world right now has changed after wearing the suit. So you're going for a forward <laughs> lunge, right? That's it. Ooh, okay, so check out the, the shakes here. About Extra stability. <sighs> okay, and okay, I'm I got you. Oh, that's going to burn. <laughs> Very nice stuff. All right, gents. My engine is like on halfway already here. You're using up all the fuel, but let's keep going. I love this. What's next here? You even uh, haven't gotten to Weinberg Hill yet. <laughs> so this, this is all the core stability. And obviously, and this you do for about two minutes. Two minutes? Yes. Are you mad, man? Because this is the kind of burn that you're going to feel if you go up Southern Cross. <laughs> Jermaine, is this more about what's really at stake and what's required when you're a firefighter. The ability to go to that dark place when your body's saying no, the ability to push on through that time when there isn't time on your hands, but somehow you have to keep going. Is that really the mindset for yes, you guys? Yes, it is. And, and as I always say, pain is just the indicator that you stay, that you're saying that you're still alive. If you don't feel pain, then you're going to be in trouble. Okay, so pain <laughs> is a blessing then. You put it like that, then it's a luxury to feel it, especially in the situations that you guys put yourselves in. And again, this is just a small percentage of what is actually required when you're out on the field. And this is a controlled environment. When you're out there, there's obviously moments where you've got to make quick decisions. You have to make life-changing decisions as well. Guys, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for the time and commitment you put into being prepared to save our lives, to save our mountain, to save our region. I'm so grateful for this. And Truly, 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 <laughs> absolutely have so much respect for what you're about to do this weekend, guys. If you have an opportunity, please get out there. Go support these incredible people doing the absolute most for you to protect our incredible world and playground that we get to play in. And I'm so grateful for this. I'm going to be cheering you on, and hopefully I can try share a kilometer or two <laughs> in the next one. But guys, absolute respect, man. Wishing nothing but the best of luck. You, you are time. officially my heroes, and I hope you guys can get behind them. Absolutely amazing stuff, guys. Well done. Thank you. Whew, okay. Can I take this off now, please? <laughs> uh, please. And as they give us their kilometers, let's give them our money. Please head over to the website details. We'll keep them up. And that's uh, for VWS. We'll keep them up on our socials. Go and support. Now, speaking of doing a few tours of duty, Ghostbuster video games have existed in the background of the movie since the beginning of the franchise. For the beginning of time for many of us, and Grant is here to take us through them all. All of them, my friend. That's no, no I'm not, not going to take you through all of them. <laughs> I'll take you through a couple of them yeah. that we probably remember. There's, there's been a ton, oh. and not all of them have been great. Uh, understandably so. Not, not all of the movie moments have been amazing, but the franchise is amazing, and there was so much cannon fodder there to have fun in a gaming space. Right? It, it feels like it was a, a movie series could, that could have you know, been, been based on a for, yeah, from like a video game. Sure. It's like people with these cr like wild weapons that are designed to take over supernatural creatures. That could be a video That sounds like yeah, a video game. It sounds game. like a, 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 a stream series right now. I'm sure it might, might come back in a different guise. But it's, it does beg the question, because these started so early, what video game capability existed when the movies came out? <laughs> yeah, well, the first game came out in 1984, so a wow. year before I was born. Sure. Uh, so just just so you know, and it came out uh, like you know for old school Commodore, um, and it, it actually took like six weeks to develop. That's all. The game cycles now are like seven years to develop. <laughs> six weeks to develop, and uh, David Crane was the game designer behind it, uh, and very uh, very um, well appreciated game. A lot of people play different versions of this. You know, there were like slightly different versions, but it was old school. Right, you can see. Uh, you can see how exactly old school it was, <laughs> and like you can even hear about the sound effects. That <laughs> I, I highly recommend. It reminds me of like cold games and all those like. Take, like takes you to a happy place. Yeah, yeah. takes me to a happy place after school winters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as a kid. The next one was Ghostbusters 2, and this one also had different versions um, when it when it came out because it came oh, out on Atari word. and it also came out on on MS DOS. Um, uh, yeah, you can see there's kind of like a third-person shooter, arcade-like uh, uh, look to it. Um, I think people like the graphic treatment, but yeah. I don't think people really like the actual game itself. But again, it, sh it like showed it's off... It's quite comic -y. It's quite nice. I mean, there's something that this would fit 
in this kind of retro style of, of anime and animation now that we've got that that stood up even back then that you know was pretty, i would man. love to see actually i would love to see a ghostbusters anime oh, that sounds like a great idea. I, I think, think you've just come up with something it's something man. it's in something i love that but it was quite a leap forward for two let's move now to the early 90s yes we had uh, ghostbusters on um uh, what's the Sega Me Mega Drive? Mega Drive, like Genesis. 1990, yeah. and it had nothing to do with the original Ghostbusters. Obviously, the same IP, but um, it had it was like a completely different game. I, I actually chatted to uh, like Pete in studio now <laughs> behind the yeah. camera. He was like, "Yeah, I played this." <laughs> I think a lot of people played the Sega Mega Drive games. Uh, obviously, 16-bit better graphics. They had these bubble heads. <laughs> I think they designed <laughs> the bubble heads because of the graphics and they wanted to make sure that the actors still look like the actors oh, so they you know keep i think that's what they were going for oh the uh, stay puff man yeah no. and, and obviously the better graphics allow them to do better things but it was like a uh, a, a scroller side scroller game you know in um, essence um, and it and it looks like a lot of fun but it looks like a lot of games of that particular area now, then we fast forward to 2016 yes let's fast forward. forward all the way like uh, like there's a lot of games in between but um, there's this isometric top-down shooter in 2016, which was based on the Ghostbusters film that came out then in 2016. Obviously, that movie didn't get a lot of critical acclaim. Like, to be honest with you, I actually enjoyed that film. Um, I didn't see, uh, like, what was going on. But this is the kind of game that I want to see more of. Yeah. These, so isometric means that it's, like, like sort of 3D. It's, like, locked down on this 3D angle, and it's a top-down shooter. And uh, you can play cooperatively with, with three other friends, so four of you can play together. And uh, it just looks like a really cool game. But it didn't get well cr critically reviewed really well, and unfortunately, the studio behind this game actually went under shortly oh, after this game. So much but, promise. But, yeah, look how great that game game looks and look how like it's such a good idea it's like a team-based shooter with with ghosts and supernatural yeah, beings it makes almost so much like sense. a forerun if you think of the games and, and where gaming has gone as well in that cooperative space i love that man then we take another little quantum leap forward to rise of the ghost lord in 2023 yeah so 2023 last year we saw the first vr Ghostbusters ah. game and I think this was a very cool addition to the Ghostbusters universe we saw mobile games we saw games on older consoles MS-DOS we saw um, new new iterations of what Ghostbusters could be but Ooh. it was the first time now that we could see Ghostbusters and the supernatural world as a virtual reality experience putting yourself Actually in those into shoes that space um, which was very cool and I think that uh, you could get, you know, Ghostbusters is, is, is a cool series because I think it has like the surprise of this, these eerie monsters that you don't know. It's a little yeah. bit like X-Files in a sense, okay. but it's also comedy and fun. You know, X-Files is super off. serious where Ghostbusters, I think, is the, the appeal is that it's like, you can you can be a Scooby Doo, right? Yeah. Like it's that whole thing. We can inv investigate this and have some fun, but it's always going to be wild, and you don't know how dark it's going to get. And there will be some adrenaline. I think right. that's what I've enjoyed about this because it's safe for 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 younger people to embrace this, but still get the thrill. Goosebumps. Yeah, it's goosebumps, man. Absolutely love it. Oh, you've taken some beautiful examples. It's amazing to see how far we've come. Yeah, you know, and how long the series has survived. I think it's just testament to for the uh, to show us what how good that core idea is for storytelling. 100%. And that it's existed for so many decades. Oh man, if you watch something, a series like the, 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 the movies that made us, and you see how difficult it was to make that first Ghostbusters film, how close we came to it never existing. It's amazing when you see the franchise play out like this in a subculture, not even within film. That is amazing. So what do you think makes a great Ghostbusters movie? Which one has stood out for you? And do you think the latest games have translated that flair, that, that adrenaline rush from the movie into the games and they've done it well? And I think the humor is a definite thread there, as Grant has um, pointed out. So let us know. And while you're at it, you can go out to all of our socials or you can drop us a voice note and let us know if you were a Ghostbuster, what would your go-to piece of equipment be? Uh, I think I would definitely don the Proton Pack because I've worn one of those in my imaginary world probably about a million times, but we'd love to hear from you. You can let us know this morning on our social media pages. What are you talking about? Huh? What, what, what would you... What would Proton you... pack in what invisible world? <laughs> Graham, you don't just say that and not explain it. We all, we've all had that. Haven't you transformed like an old broken something into a... Oh, in your imagination. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's he on about? And well, now the bottom line is you can actually do it in a VR world. That's how far the games have come. But I love the fact that this is a franchise, whether it's in full or gaming, it stood the test of time.
Welcome back. We've had a little bit of every this uh, thing this morning. We've been fighting fires. Whew. We've been donning all the equipment. We've been Whew. getting super excited. Gets real. Pretty quick, man. Well that was done. Insane. We're referring to Ryle doing the firefighters exercise routine ahead of them taking on the, the two oceans. Just incredible. But we've yeah. also been reveling in the nostalgia that comes with the Ghostbusters franchise. It's born, it, it seems, countless games. It's got a subculture. And of course, it's very much a part of my original childhood. <laughs> Uh, but many childhoods since. So there is a new iteration. It is a Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And we need to find out more. Mr. Yep. J.P. Sebastian. The reason we're doing that is because there's a movie out tomorrow. Um, there is a big movie. Actually, Surely I lied. The, the, no, movie. the main reason we're doing this is because it's an intervention. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever met a spook? <laughs> I Ooh, think I might I have, I man. Have, oh, yes. <laughs> I think I made a spook as well. I think I did. I'm absolutely <laughs> convinced I have, man. There is so much expectation uh -huh. around this film, buddy. Do, um, do, do you guys grow up with it too? Uh, yes, yes, very oh. much so. And my kids have embraced it as much as I did, which is amazing to me that a film that is coming from 1984, I think, um, and that's when the first game came out. That 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 still stands. So, sorry, I was um, looking at you blankly, like I died for a second. Like a flat <laughs> line, like a yes, like a ghost, no, 1984. Well, well, we, we. He was just looking at me, going, "I see dead people." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you mock me. You've been around since Fun Ribbit, dude. Uh, so <laughs> let's have a look at uh, Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. Like I said, out tomorrow. And here's a little snippet from some familiar old faces. Old faces for some of them. Some of them were new faces. <laughs> um, just joking. I love you, Graham. Fresh uh, faces. Fresh. And, and a look at the Frozen uh, with some of the fresh. Uh, Ghostbusters 4? 5? Who knows what the number is for tomorrow. <laughs> It's very exciting to be back in another Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> you get to work with legends. The legacy of Ghostbusters goes on here in a really quality way. To be back in New York with a new generation is something very special. You are a public relations dream come true. <laughs> in this film, we have new equipment, new ghosts. We've got a lot of surprises coming up. I know this is so nostalgic, but seeing Slimer again bent everything. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. I'm a massive Ghostbusters fan. Then you're doing a scene with Ray Stance. You're the weird guy who buys strange old things? Correct on both counts. I keep having to pinch myself in this one. The scary stuff is genuinely scary. It's a really important fight because if we lose, we're all done. Everyone on the planet. Can I be of any help? This different generation, they are nice people, but they're not as much fun as we are, you know that. <laughs> Heads up. Oh, that okay. looks, looks fun. 
Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, like a testament to the effect that this movie has had on people is we were only able to really watch like 30 seconds of that without the three of us just sharing just trivia of the mythos really? of oh, Ghostbusters. Sure. We were talking non-stop about like you told me Eddie Murphy was supposed to be in the yeah, he was originally of to, I mean, it was written for some Jim Belushi, mm -hmm. some, some comic greats, but probably the funniest group of people in Hollywood at uh -huh. the time. Uh -huh. You know what's crazy to me is my experience of Ghostbusters when I was a kid, when I did eventually watch it, was yeah. it was quite scary for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if that was the no. shared sentiment. Uh, no, absolutely. Like, no, you're not weird. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, the okay, chick okay. in the library. That was, it was all fun and games. And then the chick in the library is like, oh, okay, that's a real yeah, thing. Right? Real real I've never okay. been able to gel my hair since the pink slime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or drink Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Ah. Um, so, uh, the uh, thing with what you just said there is uh, what I appreciate about Ghostbusters and what they carry on year two is that there is a, a good enough of a dangerous edge even for kids' movie. Okay, nice. And um, it's a bit like goosebumps, you know, same thing. Yeah. It's like you have some claws, have some teeth, but I think maybe what's healthy for children, and I'm not a child psychologist, do not listen to me, parents, is that there's this healthy mix of like you can have a laugh at the same time you have this nearly dangerous situation, but uh, you, you're able to sort of pull back from it. And one of the ways that they pull back from it in this one, by the way, I've not seen it, I'm just previewing it, uh, is that oh, it is um, face, pretty much yeah. a family story, and as you can see from some of those shots, a bit of a road movie as well. When I say that, I don't necessarily mean that it's on the road, but it's a family growing up together. Yeah, there's and, a journey. Uh, so Paul Rudd is now part of this. He was obviously just the teacher in the previous one, but has, I think, joined in, as you saw from the end of the previous one, which is 20. Oh, there's the angry city official. Yeah, that's right. The, the, oh, that's I'm fun. so sorry, <laughs> whatever that actor's name is, because he's a fantastic actor. So, I'm sorry. Atkins. And oh, is it in there? Is but, it in uh, there? He, no. oh. he, um, yeah, returns here along with uh, several other actors, including Ernie Hudson, who, by the way, I must say that Ernie Hudson is Buff, 78 years old. Buff, have you seen wow. the debate That's of insane. that man? <laughs> uh, and he didn't, he cried about the lack of screen time he got in the original one. So I'm yeah. glad he's getting a bit of a. Uh, a time to shine but, no. but even though I've not seen this, and uh, look, let's mention some other faces as well because we were just talking about like natural mm. comedians. He, Paul Rudd, obviously, people beloved. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, and, and I have my theories about why he doesn't age, which includes something like the, the paranormal. Um, <laughs> Patton Oswalt is hilarious as well. Great guy and huge brain on the guy as well. If you are a film nerd, you're going to follow Patton Oswalt on social media. Kumail Nanjiani, also a great comedian and also great sensitivity. All of these people that can basically do family uh, no. like uh, heartfelt stuff as well as funny, funny. stuff. Strike yeah. that balance so perfectly, yeah. But I don't know how like confident I feel about this. I'm not one of these people who necessarily like simped hard for, for Ghostbusters uh, or like, you know, Back to the Future. There was a certain cohort that was for and it wasn't for me. Uh, but I hope that it can approach some of that familiar feeling for a lot of people. Uh, it's, it seems weird to me to try and desperately try and tightrope this line between no, we got to bring back the old, old guys and for what percentage of the movie and how about some have bravery to try and give it to the new generation? Who knows if they strike I, their balance just right? I don't think you'll ever get it right because we, we hold on to these things yeah. as, as a treasure. So as soon as you see a new version, and maybe that's why there was this insecurity with the previous new Ghostbusters oh, that yeah. came out. Oh, they have been terrible. Uh, yeah, yeah there was, it was slightly different. It had its merits, but it certainly wasn't a classic it's you know, generation defining hard. film. It's like created people need to have some sort of bravery sometimes, but hey, the corporate structure doesn't let you do that usually. Um, so yeah, hopefully they strike that balance, but let's have another look at one of the, some of these familiar fancy faces. Some of them 78 years old and still buff. Come <laughs> on, son. <laughs> oh, no. Ghostbusters <laughs> uh, Frozen Empire, which is out tomorrow. Have another look. <laughs> Kitchen sewer dragon. Hold on your ass. <laughs> Dee Dee Spangler, you stay inside this car. I have a ghost to bust. All right, that was cool. Harry, come on. Oh, no, I know, I'm sorry. It's just the way she said it, it sounded cool. Get back in here! I can't hear you over the nuclear accelerator!
G Man forgot that he wasn't at the movies. Yeah, no, there's gonna be, what I'm thinking is that that same angry city official is going to be angry again. There's going to be a lot of damage. It's going to get hectic. No one will believe them. Then they'll come back and they'll save the planet. And maybe you're like Graham. You'll do cardio with your butt as well. Yeah, while and some this. core work like your. your <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, just hold on. Um, it looks cool, buddy. Thank you so much. It looks great. Can't wait for you to actually watch it and yeah. give us some popcorns there. But so much expectation around a franchise that has already done so much at the box office. But you got the big names in there and I think it's going to be um, awesome and I like the fact that it's scary stuff for kids. That's cool, man. It is. But listen, we're going to leave the scary right there. I'm mean, going to bring it back to the feel good right now. We're going to head off to Joe Biggs and Lele's got the latest when it's uh, all about what you need to stick around for. So let's touch base and see what we have to look forward to. It's true, my beautiful Expresso family. you got so much to look forward to. First and foremost, let's get into the fact that, listen, the superstar we were chatting to earlier on, Brendan Paper, I told you he's not going anywhere, right? And that's because he's going to be performing for us not one, not two, three songs. And it's going to be happening right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And then we also get a little bit of content tips from our faves, Grant and Ryle. It's going to be happening in a little bit, so make sure you don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be back on the other side of this. Are you auditioning and getting ready for Tropica Island of Treasure? Well, don't let joint and muscular pain hold you back. Deep Eat is your go-to warm-up solution and SA's number one choice. Oh, yes, and here's an extra incentive. The top seven contestants heading to the island will each receive 10,000 Rand from Deep Eat. And remember, you can upload your audition with the hashtag Deep Eat and the hashtag Tropica and tag MyTropica. Who knows? You could be competing in Zanzibar. Yeah, it's time to reach your full potential. Get Deep Eat and conquer the island. It's my feel good breakfast show. Hey, Zanzi, welcome back. This is your feel good breakfast show, and welcome to your Thursday edition. So much magic happening over the last hour, and we've got another two hours to look forward to right now. But before we do, official duties must commence. Now, starting with national headlines, ESCOM has announced that load shedding will remain suspended until further notice. Now, the power utility says it has built sufficient reserves to keep the lights on. Now, ESA hasn't experienced load shedding for 15 days. Meanwhile, Dr. Hoshienzo Ramachopa says SA's energy grid is gradually stabilizing with a projected addition of at least 2,500 megawatts of new generation capacity in the next five months. He was giving an update on the implementation of the Energy Action Plan, lauding the work done by ESCOM in stabilizing the grid. And uh, next up in uh, national headlines, six men have been arrested in connection with the killing of SA footballer Luke Fleurs. Now, the 24-year-old Kaiser Chiefs star was shot dead in a carjacking at a petrol station in Johannesburg last week. 
Now, the police said the six suspects were arrested in Soweto. Now, they believe the suspects are part of a syndicate that's responsible for car hijackings in Gauteng. Now, investigators are still actively searching for um, more suspects, but Flores joined Kaiser Chiefs last year, having previously played for Supersport United, and he represented SA at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. Well, we now move over to international headlines. And after years of negotiations, the European Parliament has approved a major reform tightening the European Union's migration and asylum rules. Now, the EU Asylum and Migration Pact has been in the works since 2015 and will come into force in two years' time. Now, it's designed to speed up the asylum process and boost the return of irregular migrants to home countries. Now, it'll also require EU member states to share responsibility for asylum seekers with last year, which saw some 380,000 people illegally crossing the EU borders, this being the highest number since 2016. Well, next up in the headlines, a sophisticated internet fraud syndicate has been uncovered in Zambia, leading to 77 arrests, including 22 Chinese nationals. Now, it was a significant breakthrough in the fight against cybercrime, and the authorities said after a multi-agency raid on Chinese-run company. Now, the company employed Zambians who believed they were to be trained as call center agents. Among, equipped seized, well, among equipment seized were devices along and allowing callers to disguise their location and thousands of SIM cards. Now, the swoop was made on premises located in Roma, an upmarket suburb of Zambia's capital, Lusaka. Now, next up, uh, some exciting news, especially for those uh, hardcore Bridget Jones fans. Now, if it is uh, anything to go by, this is going to pique your interest, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Even as Bridget herself famously uh, quipped, everyone knows diaries are just full of nonsense, unquote. Now, this, as her diary entries have spawned beloved films. So beloved, in fact, that a fourth installment is gearing up for production. Now, stars such as Rene Zellweger, Hugh Grant, and Emma Thompson are set to reprise their roles in Bridget Jones' Mad About the Boy, slated for release early next year. Now, the film reintroduces Bridget in her 50s as a widowed mother of two. Now, while the studio hasn't revealed plot details, it promises to be a nostalgic return to Bridget's charmingly chaotic world alongside new faces such as Chiwetel Ejiofor and Leo Woodall. Well, definitely something to get excited about, and uh, here's even more reason to get excited because G-Man has the latest when it comes to all things sport. Oh, when it comes to football, Raul, plenty to get excited about indeed. In fact, the UEFA Champions League has already served up some mini finals. And last night, no different. Barcelona's head coach, Xavi Hernandez, praising his team's 3 2 away win against Paris Saint Germain in their Champions League quarterfinal tie, highlighting their ability to compete with Europe's best once again. So, elsewhere, Atletico Madrid, they also secured a 2 1 victory over Borussia Dortmund, surviving a late onslaught. Rodrigo de Paul and Samuel Dino scoring for it. Atletico, while Sebastian Haller, he pulled one back for Dortmund. Now, exciting second legs await in both matchups next week. The stage is certainly set. Now we turn to rugby and we bring it back home. The Springboks Rugby World Cup Trophy Blitz Tour still marches on. It's going to continue in George this Sunday, the 14th of April. Marnie Laboc and Marco von Staden will be taking the Webb Ellis Cup to the very picturesque Southern Cape. We love this part of the world. This tour is part of South African rugby's initiative to take the Webb Ellis Cup around the country before it needs to be returned to world rugby in 2025 so we can go and win it again. Now the visits to the Garden Route Mall will take place at the food court, and that's from midday up until 1.30, and then they'll head to the Otaniqua Park at 2.30 in the afternoon. And again, and that's this Sunday, so enjoy. Now, I think the Olympics athletes are going to be enjoying matters a little bit more. World Athletics has now announced that it will award prize money to Olympic gold medalists at the Paris Games, making it the first international federation to do so. So each gold medal winner in the 48 athletics events will also receive $50,000 with relay teams sharing the same amount among their members. This move by World Athletics reflects their commitment to empowering athletes and recognizing their crucial role in the success of the Olympic Games and also the amount of self, um, I think, um, funding that happens through a, an athlete's journey. This is a fantastic move. 
Now let's turn to golf and another reason to get excited. World number one, Scotty Scheffler and world number two, Rory McIlroy will be playing partners in the first two rounds of the Masters Tournament at Augusta National kicking off today. They'll be joined by Xander Schoffel, the reigning Olympic champion. And Scheffler has been in excellent form this year with wins at the Players' Championship and Arnold Palmer Championship. He's going to take some beating. He's the opportunity, if he can get this right, to join Tiger Woods as the only players to win the Masters twice while ranked number one in the world. The Masters gets underway, as I said, today and running up until Sunday, the 14th of April. So enjoy. But that's where we leave our sport for this hour. Should touch on those headlines again at around 8 o'clock. The roads should be warming up. Let's see if there are any incidents to report. Thank you so much, G-Man. Yes, many of you heading on the roads this morning, and let's see how we can serve you. And if you are in the Centurion area of Johannesburg, there is heavy congestion on the N1 southbound at Old Joburg Road. And this is with a back of Q at Olifonstein. So again, as you can clearly see from these visuals, you can definitely expect delays if passing through this area. From Johannesburg, we move to Cape Town now, and there seems to be a stationary vehicle on the N2 inbound. Now, this is at Hospital Bend. Now, again, as you can see from the visuals, delays are expected, and please do allow for more added travel time. And I think for anybody heading on the roads this morning, buckle up, stay safe, and plan accordingly from the roads. We now move to the sky and find out what's happening when it comes to weather. Diving into the world of weather right now and news on matters water this morning is that the SA National Civic Organization, otherwise known as SANCO, at Hamans Kral near Pretoria is demanding clean water for residents. Now this follows an oversight visit earlier by Water and Sanitation Minister Senzo Mchunu together with the city of Chwane Mayor Silias Brink to check on progress in dealing with the challenges at the Royval Wastewater Treatment Works. Now, the area has been obtaining water from tankers following an outbreak of cholera, which claimed some 30 lives last year. But meanwhile, Rustenburg, widely known as Platinum City, is one of the areas in the northwest facing serious water supply challenges. Now, it appears that the problems faced by the two water companies, Machalis and Randwater, are preventing a consistent supply of water. Now, residents can only access water between 4 a.m. and 10 a.m. each day. Well, from our weather news, we dive into one of our favorite parts of the hour, and that's our sunrise view of the hour. And look at this incredibly inspiring shot sent in from uh, Colleen, and it's all the way in Kimberley. I love this shot. It's artistic. It's bringing those bright, bold colors that the sunrise always promises, and more so, promise of a beautiful day. Keep these incredible pictures coming, Colleen. Thank you so much. You have set the bar, and I love it. And you can keep it coming on 0634 We'll do it all again in an hour. For now, though, you can expect to see exactly what temperatures you're experiencing for your day. It's going to be a beautiful day, regardless of the weather. Why? Because you have an opportunity to win and win big. If you're a, 
into your game. If, you, if you're a sports fan who's willing to put your money where your mouth is and win lots of money, you can use that sport know-how to predict match day results and then claim your share in today's sports take jackpots. Your chances of winning big could be a reality off the pitch right now, in yeah, fact. Yeah, right now. Now, listen up. You can play your favorite sports take game mm -hmm. on the nationallottery.co.za website. So make sure to play now and stand a chance to earn bragging rights to be Inja Yeg game you know what that's worth right yeah man and there are <laughs> lots of ways that you can get there just go and have a look you will find your sport you will find your opportunity to win then of course um he's a, a serial winner i think brendan paper he can step into pretty much any lane and absolutely dominate yeah. but where he does best where we absolutely love to see him just shining is when he's performing and he's performing for us this morning well in fact for zanella but we'll claim it we'll claim it we'll claim it i'm here for it obviously so many superstars bracing and gracing us today so don't go anywhere Zanzi, there's so much to look forward to right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh, yes, welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. When you see this man around, you know we're going to capture something incredible. We're going to do something amazing and with definitely. Pictures, with pictures. Yes, and no. I hope it involves technology. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Now, listen, that's what it's all about. We had a lot of fun, and I think it was all about capturing the memories, right? Yes. It was, yeah. Every picture tells a story. But when it's enhanced by the power of artificial intelligence, you can get to capture moments perfectly. Oh, yeah. You can join us as we redefine the way that we capture every moment with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Ryle and myself stopped over. We did some really cool stuff. We did, Jump, man. We jumped Listen, around a lot. Say no more. Let the people check it out for themselves. <laughs> sure. Yes, man. We're waiting for this moment. <laughs> Yeah, here. Oh man, I can't wait for this. <laughs> Welcome to the era of mobile AI. With the Galaxy S24 Ultra in your hands, you're gonna unlock a brand new era of creativity and productivity. Yeah, so join myself and Grant as we take you through the paces and show you just how to create epic. And it's with the most important device in your life. I'm talking about your smartphone. Lana, firstly, thank you so much for having us today. But before we even get into anything fun and exciting, I want to find out what exactly Biap is all about. Oh my word, Biap, it's an indoor play park, eh? It's crazy, it's so fun. We, we, we provide amazing adventure for kids, families,
family, friends, everyone. Zero to 100. If your back's aching, still a good job. If you're 80, I want to see you climbing up that wall. Ages between zero to maybe three, four. We have the maze there. But I say we have for everyone, for everyone. What is our first activity for the day? Facing your fears. Perfect climb. <laughs> That's going to be good. All right. <laughs> You're so tall. <laughs> I got my tall chair today. <laughs> Get off your high horse. <laughs> I don't want to die, guys. I don't worry. Yeah. Safety first. That's why you have a harness. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Yay! This is the stairway to heaven. The goal is to reach all the way to the top. So make sure you get a goodie, right? I want this one on the ground. I got this. Get a good shot. Ryle, are you okay up there? Composure. Stay calm, stay calm. <laughs> Ryle's nervous, but they're like kids doing this. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look at that. Ryle's worried about shaky pictures. Don't worry, it won't get like that because the Galaxy S24 Ultra has got a quad tele system. These cameras on the rear here with a new five times optical zoom lens. That means that it's got a 50 megapixel sensor built into it that gives you zoom levels of two times, three times, five times, and 10 times magnification. And because it's got this adaptive pixel sensor, you can get images that have crystal clear results at a hundred times zoom with that enhanced digital zoom. It's just spectacular, check this. Three, two, one, yes! <laughs> yeah. never get used to that. Oh, thank you. Bro, well, you have to try that out. It is so much fun. Let me grab a shot of you. Let me show how it's done. <laughs> oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. Oh, it's too high. Give us a pose. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's, it's scary from my there. <laughs> my legs. No one's saying anything about this thing. I think, they look, I think they look good, bro. It's a new look for you. Check at that. <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of new followers after this. <laughs> like a man. Thank you. Well, listen, life is all about that thrill that you can remember. And what better way to keep that feeling going than by capturing those memories with videos and pictures, right? That's how you keep that memory alive forever. Oh, oh. Well, enjoy the view. <laughs> oh. All right, next up on the agenda is ulti games. We're talking about climbing, swinging, and doing crazy things high up in the air. And you know this one's going to get shaky. Let's see if we can stabilize ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ah. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> it's hard standing steady on this thing, but I'm still getting the photos. Oh, bro, you're getting the shots here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right, Grant, I'm going to attempt something I've never tried before. Please record this one. Okay, ready, go. Yeah! <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with my jump, bro. Did you get in slow-mo? I didn't, but with Galaxy AI, you can make any video slow-mo. Check this out. What do you mean? So this is a video shot in 30 frames a second. Yeah. And I can use the Galaxy AI to interpolate the frames. So the AI generates the frames in between oh. the frames <laughs> to make it slow motion. You didn't actually record the slow-mo, but that's... No. Yeah, the AI that's made that slow-mo. It looks so legit. Great job, bro. Oh, that's going on the ground. You think this is impressive? Huh? I'm going to show you what generative AI can do. How high can you jump on this trampoline? I reckon I can send it quite high. Okay, I want you to send it for me. Come. Okay. Go for it. That was dope. Woo! Ah! Oh, right, you get the shot, bro. Yeah, I think I did. I really like this one of you grabbing oh, your ankles. Does. So in the gallery, I'm just going to click on edit, and then there's this generative AI buttons, blue one. You click on it. And then I can select objects and the AI will select them. So I'm going to select you. Oh, I'm going to make yeah. you look like you're spinning upside down and jumping a lot higher than you, you'd really did this. So, you know, we've got to show people that you really did it. And what then we all the gaps over here. The AI will pull that in. So you no click way. generate and boom, check that. Even though it's graffiti, 
Oh, it looks so legit. Oh, look how high I am. Oh, this is proper stuff. Whoa. And it's perfect before the gaps in. He's going I was too eager. Oh, honestly, today we embarked on an incredible journey and it's all thanks to the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And let me tell you, it has absolutely blown me away. I am impressed. And with this kind of impeccable innovation, we can redefine the boundaries of what it means to be creative with our devices and still be in the moment and make it feel like we were really there. Oh, I love that. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's see some of these shots, bro. Yeah, that's a winner. I can't, I can't <laughs> turn you around. Bro, that was so much fun, man. It Seriously. was. AI really is just completely changing how we create content with our phones. Yeah, man, you're 100% right. I didn't realize how much fun we could have and allow AI to just capture all the magic at the same time. I mean, this shot for me just really made it. We were having fun, and it was so easy to, after the fact, re realize, hey, we didn't capture that much content, but we can make so much of what we did capture because of AI. Yeah, and also it had fun with the things we're making. It's yeah. not just a photograph. Like that we just made you higher. <laughs> you were like, ah, let's see how this can go. Then you even rendered the graffiti in the background. That was impressive, Yeah, bro. you were like, that was what? Impressive. Ryle was literally screaming there. I was like, shh, there are people around here. Yeah. Listen, you can clearly see that Grant and I are absolutely excited about the new Galaxy's uh, offering, especially when it comes to AI. So we thought we'd plug you in, right? We want to give you the opportunity to stand a chance to get your hands on this absolutely incredible mobile device. Now, this is the Samsung S24 Ultra. It's valued at 29900 99 Rand, and all you have to do is simply reply to the competition post on the Expresso social media pages and tell us the name of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra feature that allows you to draw a circle around an object in a photo and then search for it online. Now, don't forget to use the hashtag Galaxy S24, and the competition closes on the 13th of April 2024. T's and C's can be found at expressoshow.com. And clearly, as you can see from the fun that Grant and I had, you need to get your hands on this device. <laughs> Oh, it's exciting things this morning on your Feel Good Breakfast show. And you must know, my family, ons is baie blij vandag. Ja, ek is a Afrikaans meisie, ja. Because Brendan Paper is in the building, okay? And he is someone who I genuinely feel like is a superstar. And this is why this morning he's going to be blowing us away with an incredible performance. Everybody, please put your hands together for Madeleine by Brendan Paper. <laughs> Ik 
Vi plasker nogle træ i sit bad Mig er jeg med jern eller i mig er lej Hvad der kan i bag mig kun blæg Så jeg er op med andre drag Og se hver sin ansøg Og så vedtrog Hvor en jeg er vart For evig for mig kan gie Maar jeg er med andre lejn Maar jeg er med andre lejn Wanneer ga jeg bij mig kom blij Ja, jeg er med andre lejn Maar jeg er med andre lejn Everybody make some noise! Some of the crew is actually crying because of Brendan's beautiful voice. He's not going anywhere. I did tell you, my beautiful Expresso family, and this is why you got to stick around. We've still got a whole lot more on the way. First and foremost, we're going to be getting into some skin hydrating tips with the beautiful Nomza Mombata. And then we are also going to be hearing how you can add a little bit of that magical avo to your everyday meals. Trust me, it is all worth sticking around for, and it is all why you should stay with us right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's my feel good is a reflection of just how well you take care of yourself, my lovely. And this morning, we're hearing about how we can 100% make sure that when you glow, your skin glows. And this is the thing about our bodies. It absolutely craves hydration, and so does your skin. So the queen that is here to help us make sure that we are hydrating the right way, we are talking about Nomza Momata! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Nomza Mo, let's go to you and your secrets about hydration, yes. right? Because like we said last time, that you were here you're a busy person mm -hmm. but now I want to know about what it means for you in terms of hydrating to make sure that your skin is glowing like it is yes but you also got to tell us when it comes to water how many glasses of water are you drinking a day and what do you prefer still or sparkling still water what I put in my water mm. slices of cucumber Ooh. mint leaves yes a little bit of ice and lots of water, and that's my bottle for the day. Come on. That's the bottle that I travel with everywhere if I'm taking my walks, mm -hmm. or when I'm like in between shoots, or in between meetings. It's in my car, it's in my hand. Yes. I'm walking into that meeting, or walking into that set, 
with my big bottle of water. Please, can you speak to us about hydration challenges? Because we know Ooh. that they can hit you when you are traveling, when you're on set for long hours. Absolutely. Let's talk about that. So here's the thing. You know, sometimes it's just about the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Number one, are you drinking lots of alcohol? Number two, do you put a lot of salt in your food? Yes. Uh, are you getting enough sleep? If you're sleeping well, what kind of pillowcases are you using? Do mm. you wash your pillowcases very often? Yes, How much for us water now. are you consuming? Mm. Do you have your soups, your broths? Your broths are great for collagen building. Ooh. Great, great, great. Very good. And also that. it's great for hydration as well. Mm. Much glowier skin. So those kinds of things, just helping yourself to understand that outside of putting things on top and yeah. making sure that we have your Neutrogena's and different ranges, whatever range that you love for Neutrogena, but also what are you putting inside of your body? Yeah. You know, so those kinds of things are, are things that I'm always just, you know, asking people when they say, my skin is doing this. But also I ask people, what's your age? Yes. Because as we progress in age, our skin takes on different forms. Sure. My skin had more collagen. My skin had more hydration and was plumper. You know, when I was in my early 20s or in my, in my teens, mm -hmm. now I need to live with an awakening eye cream. I love me a, a good nighttime routine. Yes. So all those different things that I have to just take into consideration. I love this. Health, wellness and hydration. It's holistic. That's what I feel like is going on oh, here. Yeah. So please speak to us about your travel bag that you've brought along. Okay. Because I feel like this plays into those hydration challenges and everything we need to know that we can possibly incorporate. This was supposed to be a surprise. Oh, but you were already told. I'm sorry, I was. Anyway, this is probably like <laughs> my second time ever in my life doing a what's in my Back. Come on! But I thought, okay, let me just take everybody into what do I, what does my little bag consist of? Yes. So number one, cleanser. Okay. So you'll see that the cleanser doesn't have any sort of branding outside. That's because I buy these little bottles which are decanters. Mm -hmm. You can see there's a little bit there. Yeah. So what I do is I decant my cleanser. Nice. And I put it into a decanter. Yes, for travel. Uh, absolutely. Oh, wow. And of course, a little eye cream. Mm -hmm. This is our Neutrogena Eye Awakening Cream, which is fantastic. Yes. Retinol boost, because retinol, retinol, retinol. Outside of having hyaluronic acid, which is what Hydro Boost has, mm -hmm. but retinol is something that we all need as we progress in age, um, because we're not anti-aging, we're pro-aging. Come on. Anyway, retinol boost is the girl that she thinks she is, but I'm gonna say this again, on television. Men, you must take care of your skin. Come on, okay? The queen has spoken. And can I actually ask while you do this, is this wash. a little bit of a, of a sneak peek into your, let's say, skincare routine slash like what you do in terms of getting your skin to wake up oh, 100%. Yes. Okay, absolutely. Love and it. this is like my travel bag because sometimes, not sometimes, but if you're doing international travel, mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't have something that's over 100 mils, so I always decant. And then I have my little travel size. Yes. Uh, and of course, lotion, please. We don't want ashiness. You know. And of course, mm, the holy <laughs> yes. grail. As you can see, she's halfway. Mm -hmm. That's the supercharged serum. Now, of course, you did mention the cleanser as well. Yes. Being part of what you obviously use in your skincare routine. Oh, yes. Speak to us about the importance of it. Oh, I can't even stress it enough. Mm. I have two cleansers that I live by. It's the Bright Boost Resurfacing Polish. Mm -hmm. It's in the pink bottle. What I love about it, it's got the microgranules. So after a long day of makeup, it's a really great clearing. Um, and also it just opens up the pores yes. and also minimizes the pores. We know we love a small pores kind mm -hmm. of girl. So I love that um, in the exfoliating. And then I always go to the water gel. Water gel, what I love about it is the fact that it's not a cleanser that dries up your skin. Yes. When you're cleansing your skin, it should not feel dry. If it mm. feels super dry and very brittle, then you're not using the right stuff. Yeah. Which is what I love about the water gel because it leaves your skin feeling so silky. And of course, you look at your skin and you feel like, oh, my skin actually looks very clean, number yeah. one. But also, all that residue from the makeup is gone number two, but also it feels just supple and soft mm. and it just makes sure that my whatever I'm going to put on after cleansing yes. is going to find a very good base. And that is what we want. Yes. So my queen, we know that this Hydro Boost is supercharged with mm -hmm. amino acids, electrolytes, as well as, of course, hyaluronic acid. Speak to us about why this combination is so perfect together to be the superhero to our skin to hydrate it. Well, the great thing is the fact that Neutrogena has taken these incredible ingredients that speak to super hydration. Yes. You know, you can't speak about hydration especially of the skin without speaking about hyaluronic acid mm. we know the goodness of hyaluronic acid and what it does to the skin we know that amino acids are a necessity and of course electrolytes they speak for themselves yes. so to be able to put these together and offer them and also to have the backing of dermatologists to say 
Hey, man. Mm. <laughs> we say you can use the skincare, so it's, it's, it's incredible. It's also having to see the results. Yes. Numzamo, I want you to come back every day. I'm going to miss you, but I'm going to be keeping my skin hydrated all in the name of making you and proud. And I'm going to check up. You already know. Yeah, I got you. I mm. got you, beautiful. Mm. And she does check up this. But she's also going to be checking up on you, OK? We see her everywhere. YouTube, Expresso, <laughs> it's everywhere. But this is the thing, my friend. It is an absolute breeze in terms of getting your skin hydrated and so right. You're still on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Make sure you do not go anywhere. Anyway. Uh, from hydration on the skin to satisfying within. <laughs> Let's do something special in the kitchen right now. We're talking about the avocado, which is without fail one of the, well, I've, I think it's nature's most indulgent offering, right? It's mm. got this richness, creaminess. It's got a delicate flavor. I think it's pretty much unparalleled. So adding an avo to your diet not only satisfies the taste buds, but it kind of also contributes to a healthy and balanced diet. And there's a multitude of ways you can add an avo to family meals. And today we are looking at a few of those dishes. We're going to give you something special to go through for each and every single day. But before we do, we're also going to be preparing something special here. So from Monday all the way to Friday, we've got something for you. But before we get into the list of the day, let's talk <laughs> about our recipe that we're going to make here, all right? G, I'm, I'm doing this for the first time. They call it a, sum, a, sambal? a sambal. A sambal. Like, so I know sambal as being like the, the fresh little salad that you'll have with the curry, uh -huh. right? So I think it's like the introduction of something fresh and zingy that you can have with something else. And I, I mean, that you can think like of a perfect the, the, the flavor a sounding board. It's awesome, but I mean, is it not guacamole? <laughs> this is, I'm looking at this it. Is what I was it like... Can we talk about the elephant in the room? <laughs> Mashed avocado is guacamole. Surely is guacamole that? trying to put a fast one on us right now? <laughs> it might be, but listen, it's a really he spent, simple. Spent some time in India, and I was like, no, no, I'm a sambal, man. I'm a sambal, bro. I go with curries, bro. I go right, with curries. Well, today I love it's it. identifying as that, but that's the thing I think with the avocado that is can be used in a plethora of different meals, different options, and inspiration. Even in dessert. Dessert, my yeah. friend. Even in smoothies, it's got a beautiful consistency that can go either way. Obviously, we know the health benefits, but what I love about this, this was one of the earliest um, fruit vegetables that we cultivated. Hang on, is it a fruit uh, or vegetable? Don't even go oh, there, no, buddy. No, don't even question. go there. No, it Whoa. must be a fruit. I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> convinced it's a fruit. But it actually predates the wheel, believe it or not. So we, we discovered the wheel or started using yeah. it dominantly within our culture, as I understand it, about 10,000 years ago. I think the ancient Mayans were cultivating avocado before that, Whoa. which means this is one of those superfoods that we've known for sacred a long food. time, a sacred Whoa. food. Um, now you've made it even more, more <laughs> it's sacred, okay? So you've got to look after it. But um, the fact that South Africa grows such amazing avos, we've now extended our avo season as well, so we get more of them. So you're supporting one of the best industries in yeah. South Africa, when you buy local. Absolutely love 100 it. 100 percent And just like that, a new creation has come to the forefront. A sambal ready to be touched. Maybe because into. we haven't mashed it. Maybe that's so a guac is ah, the full mash. And this the is like a rustic guac with a little bit of something, something extra in. And just as a reminder, I've put in some desiccated coconut, I've got some parsley, lemon juice, uh, some rustic cut avo and then salt and pepper and simply voila. I know we've got that for our, our um, nachos, but I'm thinking yeah. that would work brilliantly with the curry Ooh, as yes. well. Um, we do actually have some guacamole here, some yeah, guac, so we're gonna... While, while you're mm. touching into the guac there and putting that together, let me talk to Mzanzi because I just promised you some options for the week, right? So okay. let's dive into Monday first. You can be right. Monday morning blues with maybe, let's say a toasted seeded half bread, maybe top it with uh, lots of delicious avo. And this is something that's quick, it's easy to prepare, and it's sure to get your day off to a great every start, morning. Right? Why my, my <laughs> <not> only? Every <laughs> morning. Come but on. It's something like Meat Free Monday, which is an option that we're all trying to dive into at the moment. So that's something which has, I guess, come and gone because you had your option right there. And we can dive into Tuesday. So let's think about this. We got the Meat Free Monday out the way. Let's bring the meat back for Tuesday. Let's talk about uh, maybe some steak on the menu, right? Ooh, think about mm. a, let's say, a thick and juicy seared steak. You add, add some strips of the steak to that. You top it off with some avo slices. Maybe a hint of chili. I think that sounds like a perfect Tuesday Absolutely for me, right? Beautiful. Yeah, G Man it. coming through with another inspiration here right now. What are you doing, bro? Um, so, we've added some, some nice mashed um, avos, some guac, and it, it's worth putting if you're going to make your own guacamole. Just a side note lemon, lemon, lemon. The lemon juice prevents it from going brown. I don't know if that's oxidizing, but whatever mm. happens, it goes brown. The lemon will keep it. So, if you're going to preserve half of the avo in the, the fridge, 
squeeze lemon juice on it, put it in a container. It's amazing. It'll great last for days. So we have, we've gone for the guac there. Then on our butter chicken curry, we are mm -hmm. slicing some avo. And then I thought just to add a bit more freshness to our pasta salad here, let's just cube it up. And it adds another textural element as well. It does. So that's it's it's a beautiful avo dressed up in three, four, five different ways. Yeah, Love man. It. Now let me get back to the menu here. Yeah, we got through Monday and Tuesday. Now think about this. Let's talk about a quick, ultra scrumptious midweek dinner, right? Ooh, okay. What about an avocado pasta like we're just showing you right now? Beautiful. And as you can see, G-Man's getting quite creative with how he applies it. But we are serving up something that is pretty much al dente. It's a bowl of whole wheat pasta. We tossed it up with some avocado halves and sun-dried tomato. And it's a little bit of a crispy, crispy pancetta that's uh, involved in this one. I love Delicious. how this has come together, man. This is really great. And we're only on Thursday now. So let's talk about <laughs> Thursday. You saw what G-Man did with Thursday, right? There was a curry that we had planned for Thursday. But what's a chicken curry without a sassy sambal like the yeah. one I prepared for you? And love it's a that. perfect side. You can add your diced avo, chopped fresh coriander like we did as well. Traditional chopped tomatoes can be added to it. We didn't do that on this one, but you can also add some onion and toasted coconut for a touch of exotic. And that mm. brings us to the end of the week. So why don't we celebrate with, like G-Man had here, some burgers. Yes. Burger night is nailed. I love what you did here. You, you kind of mashed this one together. So are we going to call this guac? Let's call it guac, man. Just go all in. Guac. Before right. we disenfranchise our Mexican <laughs> con connection here culturally, I think definitely some guacamole. Yeah? yeah, man. And look at that. Every single way of creating an avocado, but infusing it into a meal that makes it just like something new every time. We've left out Saturday and Sunday. And here's the deal. Oh, so what I would okay. suggest, okay, and I, I had Willie Harcourt Coos, who was like the responsible for the resurgence of cacao and kind of old school okay, chocolate okay. methods. And I worked with him on a big food expo stage. And every morning he would make for me fresh hot chocolate made from cacao, Yum. like the original beans from, um, from Venezuela, which was amazing. But he made on toast, whole wheat, um, a bit of avo butter, okay, which was really Ooh. finely mashed avo with a little bit of butter mixed in, so it's nice and creamy. Fried egg, runny, chocolate shavings, and chopped chili. Dude, the Whoa. best breakfast ever. That nuts. avo just sings with chili. But if you mm. mix it with a bit of dark chocolate, next level. Ooh. There is nothing you can't do with the avo. I'm a firm believer in this right now. So no matter what you plan, you can add an avo every day of the week, clearly like we're showing you right now. Whether it's on the side, on top, or inside, greener or dark skin for double the deliciousness, it doesn't matter. For more information and avo recipes, you can visit avocado.co.za. And don't forget to like I Love Avocado SA on Facebook and follow I Love Avos SA on Instagram. All the inspiration you need, all the health, all the wealth, and all the magic. Nicely done, bro. I think we could sell these, dude. We could. Right, let's all right. Open up our shot. Who wants one? <laughs> Step right up. Step right up. Beautiful, man. Nice, bro. <laughs> I want to tuck into something, man. Mm. Let me tell you this, Expresso family. You know, winter might be creeping in, but hey, the temperature on this show this morning, there's just beautiful people everywhere. I say this because on the way, we are getting to know one of the Tropical Island of Treasure celebrity contestants. It is Bobby Van Yarsfeld. Yes, he is in the building. And then we're also going to be entertained yet again by Brendan Paper. And trust me, you want to stick around for it because it is one of his most popular tracks. And one thing I know about this morning is that it's only getting better and better. So you need to make sure that you stay exactly exactly where you are because we're going to take a short break and we'll be back on the other side of this.
Welcome back. Why are we so excited? Well, the season of Tropica Island of Treasure is heading to Zanzibar with an incredible cast. So um, at the helm of the ship, Zanele Potelwa, our girl is the hostess with the mostess. And joining us today is one of the celebrity contestant singer, songwriter, unbelievably chiseled, good-looking mm. man, <laughs> Bobby von Jarsfeld. Just look at him. He is ready for the island. Uh, can we get a very feel-good welcome for Bobby? Yeah. Welcome back, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I've got to say, fish. straight off the bat, yeah, I mean, normally this guy steals all, all the, the fitness line. Like, no, you're looking the, the good. The <laughs> stolen. <laughs> I'm trying to look good for Tropica, so I have you to try something. Bro, but you're, you, you, you're looking good. Like, the energy feels incredible, especially this time in the morning. Yeah, man, so you're clearly doing something right for your preparation for this, man. What's been happening? I think I drank, like, three coffees this morning, so maybe that's it. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you're still below par, dude. You another two, and then you'll, you'll be where you are I woke up at four, was, uh, at five, I was in the gym. So oh, nice. Okay, yeah. all right, Gotta all right. Got to prepare myself for Tropica. In this. You've got to get the pump, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you do have to prepare yourself. Because yeah, we've we lived through, we've had a front row seat to some crazy uh. journeys through this process. It is life-changing. Whether you win it or not, yeah. it's a hectic process to go through. It's all warm and fuzzy as you build up. Then you get there <laughs> and suddenly now you're competing. You've got a partner, there's crazy chemistry. Why did you choose to do this at this phase of your life right now? Why was this just such a compelling prospect? Um, I love challenges. I love the show. I'm a big fan of the show. And uh, my sister won the previous season. So I think there's like a massive target on my back. <laughs> I, I, I might as well just get a tattoo with a knife in my... I was going to yeah, say, she, uh, hashtag beat Bobby. I told you it's a real <laughs> thing, man. It's a real so thing. So she won it, so I need to, I need to <laughs> show her that I can do it as well. But I, I love this show. Well. I don't know if that's a good thing or not for you because obviously that means that you're like number one contender here, right? You've got like a target on your back. Seeing that Definitely. in the family, the bar's been set, right? Yeah. With that being said, have you been able to get any sort of like uh, low-down scoop from her that can uh, assist you in the win? I she tried. added any value? Nothing. I tried, I tried, but she can't really tell me anything because the show just, it's never the same. Yeah. And she put us through the most because there were times when they were owning it, then there were times where they were absolutely lost. Yeah. And you're sitting here thinking, okay, no, nah, not a chance. And then like, okay, this is it. <laughs> it's an emotional roller coaster in that, in that sense. What makes you nervous? Because I haven't really ever seen you scared of taking on anything. Is there anything about this? Do you feel nerves? Hey? <laughs> no, I, 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 I will feel nerves on the island, I think. Um, but I love doing challenges. I don't think I'm nervous as yet, but I'm preparing myself. I'm nervous because of the mind games, the yeah, puzzles the puzzle. and stuff. Mm. So everyone's telling me they're preparing with puzzles or they're practicing something. I'm not sure how they do that. Sudoku, just, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna try everything I can, but um, I love, yeah, I love fitness. So I think I'm fit enough, but mentally I'm gonna need a partner that's mentally okay. That's got the mm. chance. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna look for someone that compliments you? I mean, you, you're clearly saying you're ticking the box when it comes to the physical prep, right? I think right? so, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 too, too cocky about it, but I think so. Would someone to then uh, compliment that, or would you prefer to just come in like, let's tick both boxes on strength and fitness and we just dominate that? And just smash it. No, I would love someone that actually, with mind games, that's proper. So and just can... basically, just be a lack of means. Don't be your... Just be chill. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. Yeah, no, and the chemistry is a big thing. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, it's, and we, we end up coaching a lot of reality kind of people through mm. our line of work because we have that front row seat. And it's amazing how often a failure turns out to be the best thing because it bonds you yeah. as a partner or it lights that fire or something can happen. But you need to have the right chemistry from a personality type. What are you looking for in your partner? What will balance you out, do you think? I will say... Uh, just generally, just to lack a person. Just to, just be nice, just please. Be just be nice. <laughs> I don't lie if you say you can swim and you can't swim. <laughs> and you can't swim. <laughs> and also, yeah, just, just be a social, uh, just like people, please, because I'm, sometimes I'm socially awkward, definitely. Okay. So I need someone that's got a personality that's going to be out there. Yeah. Out there. Because I'll shy away sometimes. I'm the quiet one in the corner. So I need someone who's <laughs> very confident. I'll just let you out your cage to go yeah, to yeah, your yeah. job and they'll help you me. Back, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I love it, man. I'm picturing, <laughs> uh, I like to do this, where you gotta, you got to believe that you're going to win this. you got to picture yeah. yourself mm. with that medal, with that crown. What does that moment look like? What are you going to celebrate once you've taken this position of number one at the Tropic Island of Treasure? <laughs> Let's envision it right now, bro. How's that celebration going to look? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's what's on the island. I don't know if you can have a couple of beers. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> yes, you will be, be allowed to have after. Is it? <laughs> one beer only. Okay, that's a great, great celebration. What, what would you spend that money on? Because mm. you've got a lot going on in your world. And Options. half a million is an incredible investment to make in any area. Or would you just blow it all? <laughs> I would add a thousand rand and have a big bribe. There we go. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> For everybody. <laughs> For everybody. Yeah. No, I'll probably, um, I think I'm, I'm a good, what do you mean? I my geld mooi, I spare by mooi. So I'll probably invest it in a good way. Okay. No, I won't Smart. spend it. Does your sister have any of hers left? No, she spends. <laughs> no, she spends, but it's in it goes out. Immediately. <laughs> but well spent. I uh, know it would have been absolutely well spent. Oh, oh buddy, you're going to have so much fun it's in gonna this It's going to be like, yeah. wait. It's, it's going to be a game changer. And you've got a lovely competitive group of celebs with you as well, which I think is going to spice it up. It is going to get spicy right here, right now, Zanzi. Bob is not going anywhere. We're going to keep you here and get that sort of uh, island feel going. What a game that we've got prepared for you. So oh. I hope you're ready. I hope you came ready. We're going to test out that mental wit that you said Chase you might me. be lacking on. But make uh, you play just now. Because we <laughs> <laughs> neither of us can play. So so that's okay. No, 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 no. no worry. Neither of us can do it. It's going to be easy and then it's going to be a lot of fun. So stick around, Zanzi. Don't go anywhere. The jaw continues and we're going to keep this island sensation and the tropicas on fleek. Enjoy. Hashtag you, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, we're in Zanzibar for Tropical Island of Treasure. Are you. Did you just swim here from South Africa? There's an easier way to find fame and your share of a smooth million rand fortune. Simply upload your audition to social media, explain why you're a match for our celebs. Add the hashtag Tropica and tag at MyTropica and we can see you in Zanzibar. Buy a Tropica now and enter to be on the island. Ooh, we're getting closer and closer to Zanzibar, Heidi, but that is still to come. For right now, from one music king to another, we've still got Brendan Paper in the house, which is why, everyone, I need you to please give it up for Lenta Life by Brendan Paper. <laughs> Jy lyk altyd mooi met haar rooi rook aan, maar jy het my mooi laat verstaan wat aangaan. En jy soek een trouw man, is ons klaar, of is ons amper daar? Ek wil jou vraag, maar ek wil jou laat verstaan. Ek weet te lang al, ek weet te lang al wat ek soek, jy ziet Winter was al langer En hoe stap jy dier die gange van my hart Net omdat jy mag Dis die middel van november maand En ek wacht nog vir die rechte aand Om jou myne te maak Is ons klaar Of is ons amper daar Ek wil jou vraag Maar ek wil jou laat verstaan Ek weet te lang al, ek weet te lang al wat ek soek Jy is die perfecte, perfecte einde van hierdie boek Ek weet te kan nie, ek weet te mag nie, maar ek moet jou kry Jy is die een van my, my leven Besef ek dis net jy wat kom Vraag vir jou in my gebede Dat jy bly in my lewe Soos ek ouwer word Besef ek dis net jy wat kom Ek 
wird der Lange, wird der Lange, was der Gschut. Ja, ich sehe perfekte, perfekte Ende von in die Buch. Ich weet ik kan niet, ik weet ik mag niet, maar ik moet je krijgen. Je ziet in voor mij. Ik weet te lang al, ik weet te lang al wat ik zoek. Jij ziet perfecte, perfecte einde van in die boek. Ik weet ik kan niet, ik weet ik mag niet, maar ik moet je krijgen. Jij ziet in voor mij. killing it 100% with his brand new EP. Of course, with songs like that, you would be, right? He's still sticking around. Make sure you do not go anywhere. But then, of course, we do have other things on the way as well. And one such thing that I know you're going to look forward to is Bobby Van Yarsfeld telling you what he thinks will be right when it comes to that audition of yours so that you can win yourself, my friend, a share of a million rand, okay? And then we are also 100% going to be getting into something that I absolutely love. So you got to make sure you stick around. You're on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Make sure you don't go anywhere. Welcome back. It's Avo season in South Africa. We love our avocados. And I'm looking at these beautiful golden parcels of absolute pure joy and flavor. And of course, we had a little bit of fun. Ryle and I whipping up some guacamole. We made a beautiful sambal that's got some desiccated coconut in it. We've added some El Natural Avo to a beautiful butter chicken curry. And then we've got this lovely pasta salad that is popping. So as we move into the news, I thought I'd maybe start to open my account um, with a little bit of fresh Avo and our beautiful pasta dish. This is all about the mouthfeel and the texture. Mmm. Man, you thick. While G-Man indulges in that, let's indulge in official duties one last time. It's about to go in the hour, and let's start off with national headlines. Now, President Saul Ramaphosa, alongside his counterparts, uh, that being from Botswana, President Mohwitsi Masisi will today visit the bus accident site that claimed 45 Botswana citizens. Now, the horrific crash occurred during the Easter holidays at the Mamatlakla Bridge on the R518 in Limpopo province. Now, the pilgrims were on the way to the Easter service at the St. Engena's Zion Christian Church. Now, there was only one survivor, an eight-year-old girl, who has since returned to Botswana after being treated in hospital. 
Well, speaking to national headlines, ESCOM has announced that load shedding will remain suspended until further notice. Now, the power utility says it has built sufficient reserves to keep the lights on. Now, SA hasn't experienced load shedding for 15 days. But meanwhile, Dr. Joshienzo Ramachopa says SA's energy grid is gradually stabilizing with the predict projected addition of at least 2,500 megawatts of new generation capacity in the next five months. He was giving an update on the implementation of the Energy Action Plan, lauding the work done by ESCOM in stabilizing the grid. Well, we now move over to international headlines and Morocco's second largest reservoir that serves some of its major cities and has been central to farm irrigation is drying up. Now this according to satellite images. Now the Al Masira Dam halfway between Casablanca and Marrakesh contains just 3% of the average amount of water that was there nine years ago. Now six consecutive years of drought and climate change which causes record temperatures leading to greater evaporation have threatened water supplies across the North African nation and hit agriculture with account, which accounts for some 90% of water consumption in Morocco. Well, next up, after years of negotiations, the European Parliament has approved a major reform tightening the European Union's migration and asylum rules. Now, the EU Asylum and Migration Pact has been in the works since 2015 and will come into force in two years' time. Now, it's designed to speed up the asylum process and boost the return of irregular migrants to home countries. Now, it will also require EU member states to share responsibility for asylum seekers. Now, last year saw some 380,000 people illegally crossing the EU's borders, and this being the highest number since 2016. Well, lastly, in our headlines, definitely inspiring stuff. Ross Cook, the courageous ginger-haired Brit that we previously reported on running the length of Africa, has achieved the unprecedented feat, completing his journey across the continent. Now, he marked his triumph in Tunisia after a grueling 352-day journey spanning 16,000 kilometers and 16 countries. Now, branded the hardest geezer, Cook's remarkable odyssey encountered a myriad of challenges such as visa hurdles, muggings, sandstorms, and health issues. Yet, on top of all of this, he raised some 15 million rand for various charities. Now, starting in South Africa at Cape Gullis and culminating with a celebratory strawberry daiquiri in Tunisia, his journey was highlighted by solidarity on the final day as a group of inspired runners flew from the UK to accompany him on the last 44 kilometers, sharing in this absolutely amazing feat. Well, the man's definitely earned himself a foot rub and some, but for now, though, let's see what else we can get when it comes to the world of sport. And yes, G-Man, one last time with the latest. Thank you so much. Well, let's start with some champagne football indeed. The UEFA Champions League is really serving it up. And last night, Barcelona's head coach Xavi Hernandez praised his team's incredible 3-2 away win against a very strong Paris Saint-Germain in their Champions League quarterfinal tie, highlighting their ability to compete with Europe's best once again. Meanwhile, Atletico Madrid, they also secured a hard-fought 2-1 victory over Borussia Dortmund, surviving a late onslaught. Rodrigo de Paul and Samuel Lino scoring for Atletico, while Sebastian Haller, he pulled one back for Dortmund. And it uh, certainly has paved the way for some exciting second legs, awaiting in both matchups next week. In fact, across the board, the quarterfinals have been amazing. Now let's turn to rugby and the Springboks Rugby World Cup Trophy Blitz Tour. It continues this weekend. It hits George on Sunday, April the 14th. So Marnie Leboc and Marco von Staden, two superheroes of the box, will be taking the Webb Ellis Cup to the uh, very picturesque Southern Cape, one of my favourite parts of the world. This tour is part of South Africa's uh, South African Rugby, in fact, initiative to take the Webb Ellis Cup around the country before it's returned to World Cup or World Rugby in 2025, so we can then win it again and take it back. The visit to the Garden Route Mall will take place at the food court from midday until 1.30, and then they'll move on to Otaniqua Park at 2.30 in the afternoon. Again, it's that this coming Sunday in the Garden Route. Go and connect with the boys, two absolute gems representing the box there as well. 
Now, some good news around the Olympics. World Athletics has announced that it will award prize money to Olympic gold medalists at the Paris Games, making it the first international federation to actually do so, which might seem surprising. Now, each gold medal, um, those winners will, in the 48 athletics events, will receive $50,000, with relay teams sharing the same amount among their members. The move by World Athletics reflects their commitment to empowering athletes and recognizing their crucial role in the success of the Olympic Games. I would imagine these federations make a ton of money through the TV rights. It's good to see that filtering down to the athletes themselves. Now let's turn to golf. When we talk about big money and big moments, it doesn't get bigger than the Masters. And world number one, Scotty Scheffler, and world number two, Rory McIlroy, will be playing partners in the first two rounds of the Masters tournament. Of course, at the famed Augusta National, kicking off later today, they'll be joined by Xander Schaffel, the reigning Olympic champion. Now, uh, just to put it in perspective, Scheffler has been in excellent form this year with wins at the Players' Championship and Arnold Palmer Championship. He's going to take some beating, and he has the opportunity to join Tiger Woods as the only players to win the Masters twice while ranked at world number one. So a lot on the line here. That Masters, as I said, gets underway today, and it runs up until Sunday, the 14th of April. And that's a wrap of our sport for this morning. Let's get another update on the roads. Thank you so much, G-Man, yes, and uh, for now, though, there's not too much happening on the roads, but we do move to Pretoria in Soshankuve, and there's a road closure near Mabopane Highway, and this is due to a low-hanging power cable, and if you are passing through, you need to avoid the affected area, and do please make use of an alternative route. But again, for anybody heading out on the roads this morning, buckle up, stay safe, and plan accordingly. Let's head to the world of weather one last time and find out what's happening. Right, for our final report on weather this morning, the Johannesburg Emergency Management Services is urging residents in the city to continue to remain cautious after heavy rain was experienced in Gauteng this week. Now, EMS spokesperson Robert Mulaudzi says the water level in some rivers and streams are still high. Now, this as parts of Gauteng have experienced unexpected flooding after heavy rainfall hit the province. Now, the downpours, which began at the weekend, inundated several low-lying areas and caused localized flooding. On top of this, roads were submerged and traffic came to a standstill in many areas. Now, meanwhile, the SA Weather Service has issued only one warning for today, and that's disruption of the beachfront and port activities, which is expected along the KwaZulu-Natal coast due to wind and large waves. Well, again, for our final hour rendition, uh, this is your sunrise view, and look at this shot. Oh, the waves in the water, it's absolutely cooking. The sunrise is there. It is absolutely perfect. Everything that you'd expect from a magnificent sunrise picture. Dirk Naidu, thank you all the way from Durban for sending this one through. I absolutely love it. Can't wait to come back to that beautiful place and uh, hopefully come back to sharing these sunrise views. Mzanzi, keep it coming. The number is 063 For now, though, let's take a final look at the temperatures that you can expect on your side of town.
Well, I know we love our sport, but there are bigger fans out there, and you probably are one of uh -huh. them. That's why I need you to listen up right now. If you are passionate about the game, whatever your game is, that sport, you can use your sport know-how to predict match day results and then claim your share in today's sports stake jackpots. And they are big, and there are so many games that you can play. Your chances of winning big could become, will become a reality off the pitch. Let's manifest it. Yeah, let's make they it will. happen. But the only way you can make it happen is, of course, if you play. Now, you can play your favorite sports day game on the nationallottery.co.za website. So make sure to play now and stand a chance to earn bragging rights to be in your yeah, game. You know you want some. You can, <laughs> you can sing if you want to on the show. Just sing it, dude. If you I, need to sing. I, I don't need to do that because we've got some other people that can do that a lot better than really us, Really well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of, there's one man that does that and a whole lot more. He's got the body, he's got the looks, he's got everything you need, but he's also got some audition tips. And that's utmost of value right now as everybody's entering to get to the islands and make Tropica a memorable dream. Oh, man. I can't wait stuff. for the season of Tropica to begin just to hear your accent for yeah, the, the, the three months. <laughs> it's going to come out, you know, uh, that we love exploring our cities. And especially when you do it on foot and part of a community, your tribe, Run Your City, gives us exactly that. And Kutle, just being the Wunderkund that she is doing absolutely everything, is going to tackle this as oh, wow. a nice challenge. Can't nice. wait for that. Hashtag deep body. <laughs> There are stories of strivers, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. APSA. Tropica Island of Treasure is back this year. We are being dragged across to Zanzibar. It's going to be crazy. And before the break, we spoke to one of our favorite celeb contestants of this year's show, singer-songwriter. In fact, one of our favorite human beings, Bobby von Jarsfeld. He is looking for a partner to join him on the island. And it could be you. That's the bottom line. Uh, and as much as you're going out there to win your half of a million bucks, you get to take another contestant with you who can win half a million rand. That we've got to just keep reminding ourselves because the stakes couldn't be higher. So that being said, it's quite a thing to put yourself out there. Mm. Now, you're a master at, at personal branding, at being able to put yourself out there. And you say you're socially awkward, which is amazing to me because you, you get it right, dude, which means there is, there is method behind your madness. And that's the method we want to share with those who are going to be auditioning now. Yeah. So what do you think is a good starting point? How should someone set themselves up for these audition videos to kind of capture who they are? What advice do you have? I would say just be real in the videos. Um, don't, number one, don't lie. <laughs> if you get to the island... <laughs> don't lie about the swimming. Don't lie. That's don't, a big don't, thing. Don't yeah. tell me you can swim and then you come and you get to the island and you yeah. can't swim. Um, be it yourself. Just just be a human, nice human being. Be a lack of means. Because you've got to be authentic, right? You've got to be authentic. Just, just be yourself. And please be a bit competitive. That would be nice. 
and um, yeah, just just um, bring bring your A game. When because this could come from any sphere of life, and we've seen some surprising, like the tiniest little pocket rockets being the most dominant. The mental game is something that does kind of make you a little bit yeah. uneasy. So how can someone in their audition video <laughs> show their mental? Is it does it come through with humor? Do they have to literally play a game of chess in this video to show you that they've got the chops? How, how, what are you going to be looking for in that sense? I'm going to be looking for if they can remember all the words to my new song. Ooh. Um, yeah. <laughs> can you and remember all the words to your new song? And it's Afrikaans, <laughs> so they have to learn it. So it's, it's on Apple everywhere, it's on YouTube, so check it out. Felura Sien, it's an audition. Get to okay. know my, my song's words. And then, you don't have to sing it, you just you. have to know the words. Just know the words, <laughs> then I know your mind is still fine. If they can sing it, even better, even better. Yeah. We we'll love that. There is a, a great opportunity for these people to make their mark. Those that are putting themselves into this media bubble, mm. we've seen so many take a leap forward, whether it's a, an influencer, whether it's within their own career, just getting a taste of TV time. And you understand what these, otherwise you wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. You understand what these moments are. What makes you most excited about doing this? Because clearly you are motivated. I know you're competitive, yeah. but, but something's got your fire burning here. What is that? I'm definitely a competitive person by nature. And like I said, Caroline, my sister, won the previous season. And um, although there's a massive target on my back, I believe, I'm still going to go for it. Um, I love challenges. I love doing weird stuff. Yeah. I love, I'm a big fan of the show. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be number one on the island, number two to hopefully win the prize. And just, just to, yeah, just to chill out and show my sister that I can also maybe win this thing. Not maybe. I can't can, can win this thing. I want to see the fire in your eyes. Yeah. I love that. I'm going to ask you now, if you were doing your audition video, okay, and you had to put yourself out there and introduce yourself, just to give them an example of, I'm going to put you on the spot right no, now. No, I know we're going to play some fun and games, but you're going to look in, the, that, that's going to be your cell phone on your, on your ring light, and you're recording your audition video, okay? I'm going to put you through your paces right now. Um, you can now introduce yourself and, and sell yourself to the world. I don't know what the rules are for the audition, so I might not crack this one. But hello, I'm Bobby van Jarsveld. I guess 100% Afrikaans. This is called my Buddha Engels. This is Buddha Engels. This is Buddha Engels. I'm Afrikaans. I'm a singer-songwriter. I am... I can swim. <laughs> I can swim. I can box. I can do puzzles please pick me for the tropical island of treasures <laughs> i want to go to i want to go to the island i love holidays so please pick me <laughs> it ain't gonna be no holiday he's he's playing it soft <laughs> no i love it dude i think mm. you're going to be a, the right kind of partner to have because you've got that fortitude that that bravery to just push through that's kind of how you're wired any advice for your potential partner to balance you out? Because you know yourself better than anyone else. Yeah. So what's the best way for them to get the most out of you on this island as your partner? As my partner, I would suggest that I would like to have like a confident person, um, not a socially awkward person like I am. So that would be a great balance if I can have a confident person. I'll be the shy one, or the, or the one in the corner. Yeah, just checking everything okay. out. Yeah, and um, you need that, eh? Because yeah, you yeah. need to see what's cooking. I'm definitely underneath. the quiet yeah. guy in the corner, but I'll, but my words, well, I'll say, I scheme by a mock planner. I, I wish you weren't such a nice guy so you could become the villain of this show, That's man. That's problem, <laughs> but you're gonna probably have to become a villain nearing the end of the show. So I'm going to hate doing that, seven people in the back, but that's, it is a game. And you're going to bond with these people, eh? Because you, you are. go through the most. Man. Yeah, you are. So that's going to be, I see the men stay off where, um, I don't want to stab people in the back, but you're going to have to. It's, it's a game. It's, it's a half game. a million bucks. It's a shared one million <laughs> rand. And I have to keep going back to that because it is life changing. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have so much fun on this island. It's going to push you. It's going to test you. Oh, um, really like so we want to test you a little bit now. We're going to have a little bit of a game in just a moment. Bobby's going nowhere. We're going to see if we can hashtag beat Bobby in a little game here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Yeah, he's not going anywhere, but let's dive into some more action right now because uh, I think if you were aware, this past weekend, much of the country was experiencing very severe weather conditions, but that didn't stop the families and athletes of GQ Kubeja as they hit the streets for 10 kilometers of pure exhilarating fun. And this was at the popular Absa Rano City Series race. And of course, our very own Kukle was laced up and ready at the start line to catch all the action. I wonder if she took part. Let's find out. Good morning, 
Good morning, Sunsi. It's a beautiful, cool morning in Kobeha where the countdown of the APSA Run Your City 10K is on. In just a few minutes, the streets will be filled with the sounds of pounding feet, cheering crowds, and most importantly, inspiring stories being written. I can't wait to join in on all the action because the energy is absolutely electric. <laughs> I'm here supporting my son who's doing his first 10K and his first APSA, so holding thumbs that he'll do very well today. Oh, we're supporting my son at his second APSA Run Your City 10K, so looking forward to much more. The man from Kenya, he is the champion of all We are with the champion of the APSA Run Your City 10K, Kobecha Vincent. 28 minutes, congratulations. How are you feeling? I'm feeling happy. Uh, to run my PB, yeah. I was expecting to run course record, but unfortunately this was cool. But uh, next time I will try. Diana, you are the female winner of the AFSA Run Your City 10K. Woohoo! Congratulations, how excited are you? I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. You came all the way from Kenya down to South Africa to be a part of the EPSA Run Your City series. Tell us more about what motivated you to be here today. What inspired me is that uh, since I'm always trying to improve myself, I decided to come here so that I can try if I could run fast time. Yeah. What makes the apps around your city series so exciting? It's the fact that it's not just for seasoned runners. It's for you and me and the rest of the family to get out there and get moving and be a part of all the action. In fact, I'm inspired to enter the next race in the next city. Jabu, it is absolutely incredible. The turnout, amazing here in Kabecha. How excited are you? The weather started off very badly. It was touch and go. But to see as many people come out to run is amazing. It was so great on the road. The vibe, the sea of red, and it's an increase from last year's number. So the race keeps growing and growing in Kabecha. So the people of Kabecha really showed up for us. My aim for this day is to run all five. So I think I'm off to a good start. So the next city is Cape Town on the 12th of May. That's around the corner. I think I'm inspired to join. Should I do it? You can do all four of them that are remaining now. So I'm challenging you for Cape Town. I'm running Cape Town. You should run Cape Town. I'll see you there. I believe that with every kilometer logged by the APSA team on Strava, APSA will pledge one rand. Tell us more about this incredible initiative. The aim is to raise as much money as possible so that we can take that money towards community development. I mean, in 2023, we managed to raise 1.5 million. So in essence, it means people ran 1.5 million kilometers. <laughs> and we've donated that money towards uh, sustainable vegetable gardens in five schools across five provinces. So we want to improve on that. We want to double that. So we're encouraging people to join our team APSA on Strava. Clock, clock those kilometers. The more kilometers we run, the more money we raise for community development. The story that inspires me, to be quite honest, um, it has to be today during the run, seeing people of different ages, of different genders, old people, young people, and of course fitness levels, that for me was very, very inspiring. To say that if there's an old man, I remember this old man saying to me, come on, you can do it, you know, that for me was extremely inspiring. And just to see a lot of people come together to share their different stories as well is very inspiring for me. Let me tell you, at the beginning, the experience was incredible. There was like all the energy, all the vigor, we were ready yeah. to go. Halfway through, it got tough. Towards the end, it was yeah. like borderline impossible. But, um, you know, just that mental strength that pushes yeah. you through, yeah, just Mind made us super proud. Matter. Absolutely. Mind over matter. Yeah. So what inspired me to enter the race today is that I just always love to push my body and my limits. So this was a really like great opportunity for me to do that. 
runner or not, the EBSA Ranio City is absolutely so much fun. People here are from all walks of life and truly, truly inspiring. The energy is like no other. So I recommend that you lace up to make sure you get involved and be a part of the race in a city coming near you. Yo, oh, why, bro? <laughs> that was a sidestep, though. <laughs> she will be running the city, I have no doubt. And if you were inspired by, for me, it's the community. It's yeah. the people around you. Just what a vibe. The next Abster Run Your City series will be taking place in the Mother City on the 12th of May. So make sure that you sign up now and get involved. And for the full breakdown of all the upcoming cities and dates that you can embrace, you can visit runyourcityseries.com. It's all there. There are stories of believers, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. Absa. Yeah, you're right, man. That was all a vibe. But we're going to keep that vibe going right now on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. There's still lots to look forward to. The one and only Bobby Van Yasfeld is still standing by. He's shredded. Pew, 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 he's got pew. the voice. He's got the looks. He's got everything. He's got a tropical ice cold in his hand. But can he take on our password game? Mm. Oh, he was born smooth. <laughs> I think he's got it. Yeah, he's worried about the mental conundrums. We're going to put him through his paces. And if you're worried about what looks to embrace for autumn, winter, we've got the ultimate Ooh. plug in. Some absolutely beautiful new feels, new like. cottons, new items, new homeware. We are puffing it up for the new season. We've got some great looks to introduce to you on the other side of this. Oh, yes, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. But for now, we're going to call this game time. Yes, I think it's safe to say we all have faith in Bobby's physical abilities. So we thought <laughs> that we would put Bobby's mental abilities to the test to see if it is at all close to the stature of his physical prowess. Now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, listen up because you can play along. This game is called password now okay. there's a list of tropic island of treasure passwords and you have to crack the code here's an example if it doesn't make sense let's pretend that we have lots of treasure chests on the this island is words not maths eh? yeah it's just words <laughs> okay, don't yeah, worry it's not right, gonna be that right. crazy <laughs> if for example i had a treasure chest and i had a late night last night i can't remember any of the passwords i need you guys to come through all i remember are the clues though the clue for this treasure chest treasure chest mm -hmm. as an example so last night <laughs> now we understand you why you can't find really, your past. It's a rough night, guys. <laughs> it's a rough night. If I gave an example like drive or steering wheel or four wheels, what do you think that the password would be? Oh. There you go. Simple as that. But <laughs> well, now, now we're definitely putting money on this. Yeah, Come so, on. so what I'm going to need you to do is first yeah. one to shout their name gets okay. to answer first. Okay. So do I shout my name? Yes. Do you remember that? You shout my remember name. Remember what your name is? Yes. <laughs> I wasn't with you last night. I remember my name. I still okay. have my name. Because I can't find my. You lost your. Do you know where your car is? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know where my car is. Okay, Zanzi, play along with me. The first treasure chest. <laughs> okay. The clues are. 
Right. Zanzibar. Uh huh. Sand, palm trees, coconut. There's a treasure. There's an island. Well, it's a <laughs> tropical island treasure. Okay, so so give me one word. You you, you close. Island. Tropical. Ooh. Island. You're supposed to say your name. You must make it for me. Yeah, Bobby, what's the answer? Uh, tropical no, island no, no, treasure. Said, uh, oh, island. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Get it, what's your physical so prowess? It's always one word. Always one always word. One word. Okay. Always one word, okay. okay. So we got our first word, island. Right, I hope well this done, is well making done. sense. Let's get to this next <laughs> treasure chest. I can't remember this one either. I remember the clues, though. The clues are gold, chest, treasure. Pirate Grab. X ah, damn marks it. the spot. <laughs> Who's going to say the name first? Bobby. Grab. Yes, Bobby's first. Treasure? Oh, yeah, we've got another one! <laughs> can, can we just say Jack Sparrow? Can we just give like one of those answers? I think this man okay. hustled us. He hasn't yeah. been training in the gym. He's been playing Sudoku and mind games all day, you sneaky badger. All right, we carry on to chest Come on, number three. The hashtag. Come on, Come on, G-Man. All right, so think of these clues. Beverage. Tropical. Smooth. Bobby. Cool Rick. Tropical. Yeah, <laughs> this man is on fire. Jimmy, are you going to play with, bro? Were you with him last night? Yeah, you might have been, actually. I think Dude, did you where's my, my car? Did did you you where's your car? Oh, I've got your car keys, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, where's your card? <laughs> Clearly, though, Bobby is ready for this. Okay, three right. out of three. We've got a couple more. All right, okay. my next one, number four. The clues are obstacles, tests, Bobby? trials. Bobby. Challenges? Are you kidding me right now? Who is this man? Yes, please! <laughs> well, it's not like I haven't watched this show <laughs> 10,000 times oh, over bro. 10 seasons. Okay. We need to talk about how we're going to spend this money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now you, know, you do realise I'm making this hashtag a real thing now, eh? Beat Bobby. I'm going all in, Beat Bobby, yeah. Okay, G-Man, come Beat through, Bobby. bro. We can Come do on, this. is going to get on this even. Chest number five. Okay. Collaboration. Alliance. Graham. Ooh. Team. Ooh. Work. Yeah! <laughs> almost, me. almost just opened up halfway. <laughs> yeah, all the way. Teamwork, lovely stuff, all bro. Right. Come on, ah, teamwork. Okay. I, Team name, I, know. <laughs> I had to go through a few names before I got to my name, which is a bit of a bad sign. <laughs> we found it. Oh. We're still looking for my keys and my name, though. But we are on to box number six. It is four-one in Bobby's favor. Can G-Man catch coming up here? You. This round is worth two points. Okay, I like it. All right. It. The clues are exploration. Journey, quest, voyage. Graham? Yes. Adventure. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's three, four. Okay. It is close. We've got one more treasure chest. Okay. Let's make this a two pointer. Winner takes all. All right. Hashtag all right. Beat Bobby. Come you on. You ready for this? <laughs> Think about it carefully. Your clues are Carlin, you, Bobby. Sucks. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can I say Graham Bobby? <laughs> no, no, I'm just guessing. I just want to say it. <laughs> Come on, bring it. I say again, what is it? Kalin, Bobby. Kalin, you success, Victor. Yo. Family. <laughs> I don't know the winner. Yeah! Oh, yes. <laughs> Officially, the digital version of the Tropic Island of Treasure winner is Bobby Van Yappo! <laughs> Albeit they did put you against me, which might not be the clearest reflection of the level of competition you're going to face out there. You're ready for it. I, Bro, think, you're yeah. I think you're hustling us with the mental game. Uh -huh. I think you are so competitive that your body won't let your brain okay, be slow. Yeah, yeah. I think it's there going, come on, boys, come on. Just don't give me maths. <laughs> <laughs> I think you Ooh, are absolutely you ready. Any partner that you have is going to just coast along. You're going to be that guy that does all the work in the project and they just present. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, thank you for playing along. We're going to try to keep Bobby around for a little bit more. But for you, Mzanzi, the question is, would you like to be Bobby's partner? Well, clearly after that, I think the answer is yes. Yeah. Now, remember, you have until the 5th of May to upload your audition video to social media using the hashtag Tropica and, of course, tagging my Tropica. And then, as simple as that, you could stand the chance to be jetting off to Zanzibar with this incredible specimen over here. And you could win your share of one million rand in your pocket. No questions asked. That is just absolutely smooth. Your well, decencies do apply. And uh, yeah, man, I can't wait to find out. He told you, you've got to use the pinky when you say the Let one do that again. million rand. One <laughs> million <laughs> rand. Not <laughs> evil. Exactly. Guys, guys, look, the fun oh. and games are going to continue right now. But let's talk about another love. It's not just I. Islands that we
that we're talking about, but the biggest love, which can be found in the tiniest of moments. Now, for Woolworths, the details make the difference, and that's from the smallest stitch of fabric and something like the softest touch even. And every look has been carefully crafted to create your perfect fit. Now, for the latest autumn winter 2024 campaign, we were absolutely fortunate enough to capture this version of comfort and creativity behind the scenes, and it's exclusive just for you. Have a look. The concept behind today's shoot is um, what we're calling Big on Detail. And yeah, we really wanted to bring all our details to life. So we're building these amazing sets, which is inspired by the product. So we have a beautiful oversized knit set. We have a big puffer set inspired by our coats and jackets. And then we have a flea set, which is a nice, warm, cozy Sherpa. And then we also have a beautiful billowing cotton set. So our key items for women's wear at Bulbewers for Autumn Winter 24 is definitely our jacket offering. So we've got a mass amount of jackets coming in from your beautiful Melton to your Parker, your must-have puffer. We've also got some beautiful jacquard knitwear for a more statement um, and then as well our beautiful layering uh, two-piece set. I feel very preppy, I must say, like I'm ready to go for a high tea. It's giving regal vibes, I think. I think this is very wearable. And it's also funny, sometimes you see, see things hanging on a rail and you think, well, oh, not really mine. And then once you actually put it on, you're like, oh, actually, it's kind of nice. <laughs> So in terms of colorway for autumn winter, there's a lot of plums, deep reds on the lips. The eyes are slightly more chocolatey brown as opposed to black. Um, and a little bit of sparkle always goes a long way. Another amazing trend that I love and it's super easy to do is a pop of metallic. And I love this palette because it has the loveliest autumn winter shades. For footwear and accessories this season, you're going to see some beautiful boot options. Um, the knee-high boot is super, super key to layer with your skirts as well as your straight leg denims. We also see a return to the Mary Jane. We've seen this trickling online for a while. And then we also have the chunky Chelsea boots coming in for that wetter weather. We've also got some larger frame sunnies coming in, which is perfect to protect your eyes from that winter sunshine. In terms of trousers, we're seeing the straight leg as well as the flare leg coming in. We've got our Ponty program, so that's your really nice thicker legging style that will keep you really, really warm in winter. Also perfect for layering under your key coats. We respond and react to the change in the, of the environment and the needs of our customers. If our winters are getting colder, due to global warming and climate change, then the technology that we put into our garments has to address that need. As an example, our winter puffer jackets. Those jackets are designed such that they are water resistant as well as wind resistant. So it protects you in the harsh winter, be that rain or wind. The top trends for the Auto Winter 24 season for men's wear is definitely the rise of the relaxed formal look. It's all about a pairback color palette. It's all about the neutrals, simple styling, but luxurious textures. Formal wear obviously starts with your top coat. You can layer that over a casual look or a formal look. Check suiting within the formal look is also incredibly important. We see window pane checks. Also item blazers, very important this season. You'll see the houndstooth in the Browns family. Also worn easily over a crew neck t-shirt. Our crew neck t-shirts this year is a fine slub and it's got a, a beautiful neck trim detail. It's all about the attention to detail for us at Woolies and I think uh, the guys are going to be very happy this season. Grand Park Core is such a big trend this season. Worn back to your daddy sneakers, your chunky daddy sneakers and also worn back to a great authentic denim. This outfit in particular, it makes me feel very cozy, uh, not too heavy, not too light, a nice flow to it. This actually brings a nice casual business, sophisticated look, but at the same time, it's just relaxed. Some of the 
Nike Woolworths Home Products. We are focusing on for autumn winter 2024. We really are focusing on sleep and sleeping well. We go from luxury goose and feather items and we offer a hyperallergenic range of both pillows and duvets. So our sleep well range really is a must visit and a perfect item for any home refresh. Our colours for the season are olive green, tan, a beautiful rich red kind of desert tone and then we've got a really dark teal and ochre, like a saffrony colour that's really rich. So in terms of the details in Kitswe Automotive 24, you can expect some amazing puffer jackets uh, with nice quilting. We've corduroy is a big trend for kids wear as well. Well, we've got cute little pieces for girls, little uh, corduroy skirts. Then also knitwear. Knitwear is a huge trend for kids wear this season. And you'll see a lot of tufting and texture and mild yarns within kit, in, in, in knitwear for kids. Also little cardigans and crew neck knitwear. A lot of fun for kids. We are a brand whose DNA is built on quality and on trust. We are trusted to do the right thing for our customers, for our stakeholders, for our people, and for our planet. At Woolworths, we are all about the little details that make a huge impact to our customer and allow us to deliver a quality product that really sparks joy every time. So plush and comfy, we absolutely love it. Thank you for taking us behind the scenes. The bottom line, you've got to let Woolies define the difference in the details and that, how much of a difference that can actually make from cozy knits to those beautiful textured coats and of course, the essential fleece. It doesn't get cozier than fleece. You can build your autumn winter wardrobe with Woolworths from the ground up. So shop in store and online or use their amazing app for a whole lot more inspiration. Big love is in the tiny details. Every second, every nook, every stitch. The details make the difference. Oh, yes, yeah, Samzanzi, so much to look forward to your feel-good breakfast show. Can you believe how much fun we're having? And it hasn't even stopped here because this beautiful soul is still going to stick around. A prime master is going to attempt how to cook, and I'm absolutely backing him. We both actually have our hands full when it comes to this, but we're going to show you just how easy it is to make something absolutely delicious. And then from the kitchen to entertainment, entertainment, <laughs> Brendan Paper is still standing by to serve us. He's all the way in Joburg. His voice is sultry, it's soothing, and it's everything we need for this Thursday. So, Samzanzi, you don't need to go anywhere. See you around the corner.
Now, if you think I'm a little sports mad, I think you might be the same. And if you're as passionate about the game, whatever your game is, you can use that sports know-how to predict match day results and then go on to claim your share in today's sports stake jackpots. And there are many and they are big. Your chances of winning big could become a reality off the pitch right now. And you can play your favorite sports stake game on their website, the nationallottery.co.za platform. So just go and play now and then stand your chance to win the bragging rights to be in Jaya game. Good luck. Hey, you know what, man? I'm actually feeling like a winner right now, getting his time to spend with this man all throughout the morning, and he's a future winner as well. I'm going to put that out there, bro. <laughs> but officially as, let's say, Bry Masters, because I think I share that sentiment with you. I'm, yeah. I'm good on the Bry, good on the grill. How are your baking skills, though, man? I don't bake. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't cook, I don't bake. That's my wife loves doing that. So, so, I don't. I okay. like Brying. I, I prefer Bry. I like that. So we can consider this like another challenge. We're just warming up all the challenges <laughs> this morning, Mzanzi. Now, all I'm going to be saying right now is cheese loaded steak fries. Do I really need to give you a reason as to why you need to watch us make this? No, I mean, clearly it is perfect. Get involved and it's a lot of what you can find at home or in the store. It's easy ingredients and you can make it in the comfort of your own home. But Bobby and I are going to show you how easy it is to actually make this as uh, grill masters, self-appointed. We're going to show you how it is uh, to make a quick, easy bake that I think everybody's going to love. And Bobby, with your uh, d uh, diviner body right now, I'm sure you're going to love the <laughs> macro ingredients here. We've got some protein for you, Bruce. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're happy, right? I'm happy with the protein. <laughs> but I like, like, uh, I eat it like blue rare. What do you call it? Blue oh, rare. like, like medium yeah, rare. Still well, alive. Not even medium rare, rare, rare. Rare, rare. Okay, so the like, heart's still almost beating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be a lot of blood still. Vampire. Okay, so that'll, that'll be your personal preference when it comes to preparing the meat. But uh, yeah. I think let's just get straight into this, bro. Um, you're going to start off with the meat on your side, and then okay. I'll head over to the sort of dressing. But let's show Mzanzi how easy this is for the gents, right? You, you got this? Okay, first of all, I'll throw in the masala. Nice, yeah. masala, masala spices masala, going masala, in there, masala. lekker stuff, okay. Masala. And obviously we are starting off with some steak, just in case you yeah. guys didn't hear anything there. That's steak. Um, what name is it? Garlic powder? Nice, yeah, garlic powder. <laughs> okay. You're professional, yeah. Got you do have sweet. utensils there, but I like your rustic <laughs> approach. Don't worry, <laughs> that's cool, getting man reason. hands in. And then garlic powder, uh, onion powder. Nice. Then you've got your salt. Lovely. Then you've got your pepper. Simple as that, bro. All right. You mix it. Yeah, use my hands is, yeah, you can use your hands for sure, man. Uh, oh. They are clean. They are going to get uh, even oh, further yeah. cleaned up by all the heat that they go into the pan okay. there with. Uh, but this is pretty much as simple as the first step is. Um, we're going to be popping the meat into the pan. We'll turn that pan on hot. But a good way to test it, obviously, put a piece of bread in. Just put a. Uh, let me pop it on hot there for you, just to in put case, your hand but. in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, don't, don't put your hand in the pan do to that. test. You can use an onion or a piece of bread or something just to check if it does get that sizzle, yeah. and then you can go for it. I actually just take the meat and test it out first, chucks. But ooh. We you can hear the sizzle, it is on. on. And this Enough. is something we're not gonna, again, like I said, we do, guys, trust me, we, we have given Bobby utensils here, but he prefers to just go oh, on sorry, man, with yeah. the hands. And I'm not complaining about that, but please be safe in the kitchen for anybody that isn't as well prepared as this man is, obviously yeah. a professional. Better prepare for Tropica, so. Yeah. Gonna Danger. use my hands a lot there. <laughs> Okay, um, let's use. So this is going to be a simple step, Bob, because we're just going to be doing essentially what you do with regards to your meat, and we're just going to brown this. Yeah. So we're not going to go crazy and fully cook this up because it's going to get another chance to do that when we load it up with the fries. Yeah. So a simple browning here is going to do the trick. Um, how often are you actually, if anything, I know you did say you are a griller, but do you do much meat in the pan, or is that left to Uber Eats? <laughs> never, never, never meat in a pan. Uh, okay. I love, I love a fire. I love yeah. seeing the flames. Yeah. Um, so always literally frying. And what, what is like a go-to meal or go-to on the braai for you? What is your selection? I'll definitely go for a, for a T-bone. Okay. Or like a still fillets, yeah. Oh, yum. So, or something with a lot of, it depends on the night. Yeah. But I love fat, so. I'll get a steak with a lot of fat on. Oh, Thick fat. I love that. Yellow fat. <laughs> I love that, I love man. It. And clearly there's a reason why, because you are looking in tip-top shape for this comp, <laughs> like I said. And I know the physical prowl is only half of what's required. But, man, you've come through. It clearly seems like you've got the mental uh, prowls as well after <laughs> that challenge. So, yeah. man's ready for it and ready in the kitchen as well. So, I think those are pretty much brown, bro. We can take those can out take of the out, pan yeah. now, because I now know. we're going to add some of the other good stuff to this. Yeah. Um, and uh, I like how you work it in the kitchen, man. I don't think there's... <laughs> 
anything that you can't do. Bro's making this look well, so, cooking, so easy. Cooking is not my strong right. point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be busy with my part at the same time here, okay. but we can work this one together. What you can start off with is taking the onion and the peppers, pop that in the uh, pan so long. While those are browning, we can cover to my station right now because this is going to be the good drizz that we put on at the end of this. And we've got some very basic ingredients, everything that you would find in your kitchen. We've got some mint over here. We've got some coriander, a little bit of chili just to get the steric lacquers, and then uh, a pinch of salt and pepper to go into that. Um, I've got some lemon juice that's going to bring the balance and then a little bit of oil just to make the drizz complete. We mix that all up and really it's as simple as that. That makes your drizz complete for the occasion. And then we head back to the preparation of the steak. It looks like uh, Bobby's got the onion and the peppers all browned up and it looks like they braised on. Almost. Almost there, but yep. I think we can, uh, for the sake of time, just fast forward this. We've okay. got uh, the rest of the ingredients on this list. So, um, steak goes in next, right? Yes. Because we've just browned that, right? right. Now they're going to start basking in the ambiance <laughs> of our sauce over here. So we've got some lovely chutney that you can chuck in there. Thank you. And then if the mix is a bit too thick, if the consistency is very viscose, then you can add a dash of water. So kind of feel this step out. We've got some water here if you do need, but you can kind of feel it out and see how it goes. And this is essentially just going to reduce. And as you can see, clearly the sauce is creating a bath of indulgence for the steak that it can really just enjoy and uh, simmer up in. Just a bit. Yeah, nice. And, bro, you, I think you came yeah, this morning and just spread lies throughout the morning saying that you can't do these games, that you can't cook in your own bride. Bro, you're making it look so easy. I'm already and, uh, busy with backstabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Lying. It's going to be part of the, the, the trick. So look out for this guy, um, Zanzi. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve for sure. Yeah, I've also um, started my own party, so please vote for me in the upcoming <laughs> because I'm good at lying. And let's not forget, and this is not a lie, there is new music on the way, right? We've got a single that's out, right? I heard yes. you talking about the Wajima. man. Uh, let's talk about that, because that is truth, right? That's truth. Okay, where can we get it? Where can, is, it is it online already? So I released a song, a new song. It's called Fluorescian, Afrikaans. Okay. It's about my own life. It's very personal, very personal, honest, true song. So they can go download and listen to it on Apple Music or Spotify or anywhere. Nice. And also, I uh, just released a, a music video of the song. Oh, lekker. Fluorescian. So please go watch it. It's a very interesting video. It's got a lot of mixed feelings about the video because there's a couple of scenes where I actually sit on um, the toilet. Okay. And sing for the camera. So it's Whoa. very weird and awkward. So please don't. Test. Muniko at this for I'm on the toilet. It's a very important part of your life if you want to live. Sit on the toilet. I love that, man. But look, creativity so comes in all forms. Song. And I love the fact that that's given us every reason to go check out the video. Everyone's <laughs> like, okay, now I need to go see that. But listen, we've got to step into the hero of this recipe. Obviously, what's yeah. cheese steak without the cheese? And that's where the final step of all this magic comes together. We've got the cheese over here. This is going to go straight into this mix of this lovely bath that Bobby's been preparing in the pan. So you can do that right now while I chat to Mzanzi okay. and talk to them about how important it is to use this. Because obviously, for this recipe, you can use any cheese you like, but we've opted to use Clover's individually wrapped cheese slices because they are so convenient. And besides being super simple to slap on, these cheeses also melt beautifully. It adds a delicious texture and taste to the dish. I mean, come on. This is pretty much perfection that <laughs> swirls around in the steak right now. Bobby, I'm, I'm impressed, bro. You've it doesn't look like you. art, but it's going to taste it, like art. It is going to. And okay. we'll swirl it around and mix it up and that cheese will really can melt. I yeah, yeah, go for it. Go okay, wild. Cool. Uh, make it a party. Once that cheese melts in, as you can cool. see how easy it is, we pop it onto the chips, we pop it in the oven just for a little bit, and then we We've got this beautiful mix that goes on afterwards. And voila! Bro, we did it, man. Thanks, man. What's that about? Grillers? <laughs> nah, we bakers now. It's official. Bro, thank you so much for spending your thank time you. with us this morning. You've been absolutely incredible. Your energy is right. You're ready for this competition. I can't wait to check out that music video on the pot. Please, yeah, yeah. Check it out on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Yes, now. please. And more importantly, I'm going to stream that and play it all throughout the day. I hope it gets <laughs> stuck in your mind, Mzanzi. And we're going to give you full permission to do so and full permission to go fully loaded on the weekend and make our cheese loaded steaks fries or maybe make it today and celebrate the end of the fast there's no way you can resist this dish i'm telling you so head online right now and get the full recipe at expressoshow.com nice job bro okay. when do we eat this actually now you're hungry i'm very hungry <laughs> let's get some plates free food very nice job clover cheese is for those who love life where everything falls into place and melts away our cares adding joy and stretching our imagination clover cheese perfectly crafted made with love by clover Oh, you can make my day
Welcome back to the last few minutes of your Feel Good Breakfast show. But we're sending you off on a high, my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's been so much fun. But how exactly are we sending you off on a high? Well, it is with the superstar that we've been hanging out all morning with. I am talking about none other than Brendan Paper. Everybody, please put your hands together for his track on May Say. Is that a blackie? In your arky? Vandaas a blackie? Hier in my bakkie, ek hou dit vir jou Ja, ek hou dit vir jou Jy weet, ek lees jou, net soos een boek Het is op jou voorkom, als wat jy soek Ja, als wat jy soek As jy een man so ontmoet Het ek die lotte gewen, of is jy net perfect vir my Das geen beter tyd vir jou en my Verdwaai, ek en jy Ek is net een man, maar ek droom oor een gul soos jy Diep in my hart het ek hoop dat ek jou gaan kry Een dag is een dag is een dag En staan jy aan my sy Ek is net een man, maar ek droom oor een gul soos jy Perfecte prankie, waarna ek soek, ja, als wat ek soek. As ek een vrou so ontmoet, het ek die lotte gewen, of is jy net perfect vir my? Da is geen beter tyd vir jou en my, om te verdwijn. Ek en jy, ek is net een man. how you wrap things up on your feel good breakfast show <laughs> we love you so much clover cheese is for those who love life where everything falls into place and melts away our cares adding joy and stretching our imagination clover cheese perfectly crafted made with love by clover